song is some shit, dude. The song is some top tier titties. Hello, lads and feminine lads. Welcome to the stream. A little bit of Bomberman hero music for your soul. In in suffuse your soul. Your path is incandescent. Welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, trying to find some more ones here. Oh, this one's pretty good. Oh, man. Jun Chikuma. Never heard of her outside of Bomberman hero, but she's like... Got one of the best soundtracks on the N64. It's pretty cool. Uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Cooking with Hoarders, who we've previously talked about. If you saw the poorly cooking three and knuckles featuring Bane, um, we took a look at a couple of uh, Masaoki's Cooking with Hoarders videos. And um, to give you the briefest of rundowns, it's a man who is Canadian, who likes to cook who lives in just the most disgusting apartment. Um, I don't think he's cleaned it in 10 years. It was pretty bad 10 years ago, because he's been making videos for a long time. Um, but it's, it's, it's very bad now. Uh, he, he cuts things with samurai swords. He tried to cook a steak in front of a, uh, on a toilet. Um, yeah. He, he starts fires all the time. And of course, he tries to fry things on the actual stove element on his, like, oven. Um, and also, at one point, he played some, like, weird Nazi music. I don't know. Uh, we're, but we're gonna, we're gonna look at some of his delicious culinary, uh, endeavors. And we're gonna take a look at his side channel, where he does some extra, you know, succulent content. Um, and he also has a website with his own, like, writings and stuff on it. And I feel like some of this, some of this stuff might just be the nonsense that we're looking for. Um, take a look at the chat here. Hold up, Nazi music. Well, it was German music, and it sounded pretty militaristic. I think people were saying it was actually from World War One era, but I'm not sure that makes it a lot better. Want to eat supper? Not for long. Canadians should live in a more hospital, hospitable environment. Okay. Okay, says American Infrastructure Man. All right, a crack hoard, a crack addict, hoarding chef. He hoards crack. He's a hoarder, and I, I think there's something up with our our boy. Uh, but we're gonna leave that up to us to to decide as we go through the videos. I'm not sure if he's a crackhead, and I'm not putting any uh words in anybody's mouth. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. Um, certainly nothing illegal. Um, but. But it's pretty interesting stuff. Mmm, -mm, let me cut my coconut with my katana. Yeah, that was a that was a moment where it was like it, it, he whips out this fucking. Well, you studied the cooking, I studied the blade. He whips he whips out this fucking katana, like it's nothing. And at that moment in time, I was like, this has to be a joke, right? This this is of course a joke. This is steeped in jokeness. But no, I'm very sure that this man means it. Um. So, so that's just something we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to deal with, uh, the toilet fire guy. <laughs> Sorry, my dude, but gotta put you on the TV, gotta play Raided Shadow Legends. Oh, man. You know, I've heard that that's the most immersive mobile RPG of all time. Also, if you sign up for Mo Ra Raid Shadow Legends now, you can, you too can search for my guild league squad and we can never play games because I don't play this fucking nerd shit. Um, second ever stream and I caught, I, I caught, woo, sup there. Uh, well, you know, woke up a little, a little, like an hour ago at, uh, one o'clock, you know, as you do. 
Uh, stayed up till basically five. Um, so, so I'm on a great path, uh, health-wise and mentally. Oh hell yeah, redial. This one. This one. All right. What horror are you making us watch now? Well, here's the thing. Uh, if you're not familiar with 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 uh, cooking with hoarders, Masaokis or Masaokis or Maseo, I don't know how to say his name, but if you're not familiar with our boy, I do recommend checking out the Poorly Cooking Three and Knuckles stream, um, which features several of his videos. At a certain point, we couldn't look away, myself and, and Fuzo. We couldn't look away. Uh, we were like, well, shouldn't we move on? There's other stuff we want to talk about. But oh my god, this guy just cut a fucking co coconut with a sword. And what the fuck are toilet fries? What did he just do with those fries and that toilet? Why is the toilet so close to his kitchen? What is happening? It was quite the experience. So I'm hoping that this translates to, to this stream as well. Um, the new Star Wars movie is stinky. Oh yeah, I did see the new Star Wars movie last night. It was fine. I literally don't know why everybody hates it so much. It was fine. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't as bad as any of the prequels, including Revenge of the Sith. Uh, and I know some people fucking stand that piece of garbage. Um, but, but yeah, it was fine. Everybody, I, I went in with such low expectations. And everybody told me all this shit about how it makes no sense, and it's just, it moves too fast, and it's not, it's not good, you know? And it's like three movies put together or something. And then I watched it and I was like, you know, this is structured fine. It's got setups and payoffs. It's got what you expect from a movie. It's got some character moments, which kind of felt a little shoehorned in. Uh, and not like the most developed character moments. But, you know, it was fine. It was it was more than I expected, certainly. It was it was it was all right. Um, no spoilers, but there were a few laugh out loud moments. There's a switcheroo that happens at the end. Uh, I'm not going to say more than that than just it's a switcheroo. And I kind of liked how they were going, but before they did the switcheroo. And they just did some bippity-boppity-boo shit. Um, but speaking of bippity-boppity-boo magical bullshit, how about that Palpatine? Pa pa Palpatine's behind it all. Yeah, you know, it's not even like a... It's not even like a spoiler to talk about Palpatine. He's basically... There's no story with him. He's just there. Well, no, there actually, there is a plot point that features the name Palpatine, and, uh, right. Okay, so it wasn't a great movie, is all I'm saying. It's, 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 there were parts that were really dumb, but it was fine. Um, it was, it was mostly fine. I was really expecting it to be, like, Last Jedi, worse than, than Phantom Menace bad, but, I don't know, it was alright. If anything, it was just a little bit, it was a little bland. I don't know. There were parts where I was sitting there and I was like, well, I don't care who these characters are. I don't give a shit about this conflict. I don't give a shit about what they're fighting for. What are they fighting for? I don't, I don't care. We're mostly just watching some backflipping weirdos on a fucking, like, oil rig or whatever. Um, but it was, yeah, it was pretty good. Better than I expected. Um, let me see, we got four bucks here from Zippy. And no message. Well, thank you very much, sir. Um, I liked The Last Jedi. No, you didn't. You're wrong. Um, did I miss the whole stream? No, we're, we're just beginning the whole stream now. Um, we're just bitching about, about Star Wars. Uh, dork is a consumer. Apparently, I'm also a coomer. I was born on Star Wars Day, but never seen any of it. And that's how you do it, dude. Merry Christmas, godless heathens. Who... Who still is festive? Fuck you. You're wrong. Um, nothing is better than Revenge of the Sith. Unsubscribe. Okay, so that was the chat. Uh, let's move on to the stream now. Uh, because the chat is very bad. And bad. And bad a couple more times. That is an incorrect opinion. Fuck you. No! Alright, so... I'm not even that big of a Star Wars fan. Like, I'm genuinely not. It took me until I was like... 15 or something before I saw, like, I watched it all. Um, and it was pretty good when I did, but I don't know, man. Where the fuck is this guy? 
Jesus Christ. Feminization by boss. Wow, Cooking with Hoarders is way up there on my fucking list. I have been waiting to talk about this guy for a while. And we have talked about him a little while ago. A couple days back, actually. But, uh... But this is going to be a specific... Cooking with Hoarders extravaganza stream. Um... If we can get this to fucking... There you go. Um... Now... Let's see here. So, Cooking with Hoarders. Um... It says producer, Adam Guderian. I don't know what that means, producer. Maybe this is all just a meme. Uh, I'm not sure, but I don't think it is because this man has been posting videos for over ten years. And there's some other stuff that makes you wonder if it's a meme. So, um, we might watch some of the stuff that we already looked at before. But honestly, there's a lot of videos here, and I would like to see more of the magic. Uh, wait a moment. Spring Cleaning 2008. It wasn't always... Well, this is the one with the gas mask. Hang on, let me... Uh... I think the audio is probably fine. I've got it lowered a little bit. What are we doing here? All right. There's a weird wow, smell. Wow, it's here. actually worse. I know you can't smell it on the camera, but I mean, there's a strong smell here. It's like oh, I believe that. Uh, it's really weird. Oh, I it's believe not that. Like this, though. Usually, it doesn't smell that. So. Mm -hmm. What is this? Man, I can't get over the smell here. It's oh, different geez. from usual. I mean, it doesn't smell bad usually here, but today, like, there's a strange smell today. It's like, I don't know, I think there's a burning... Ouch! What could it ah, be? That, Maybe it's one of so the fucking... Hot. It's made the... Uh, <sighs> Maybe it's one of the fucking dead bodies located under his piles and piles of fucking trash. God, that smells so bad. It's gonna smell better at once we boil it. You know, when something smells bad, you should always, you know, use heat, you know, so that it kills the smell. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, it, it was a long time. I wanted to put something I in the microwave, and I completely forgot about uh, the meat. And so oh, I opened hello, the little Bell, door, the and the meat was all like green or something. It was. It smelled Good luck so with bad. dinner, I Aiden. Paid, it's like, I shut it down good, right away. Good luck with dinner and to anybody I'm who's eating right now. I, it because it was my heart bad. goes out to you. Too, uh, it smelled too bad, so I. I'm doing this on an empty stomach for a fucking reason. Uh, to kill the smell, but the heat actually made the smell go all over the place, and I, I tried to run away, but it was impossible. It smelled so bad all over the house. Boy, Please. I cannot imagine why. <laughs> maybe the, maybe the like the this. answer is cleaning. <laughs> maybe that's all you need. Okay. Please be careful. You know, it, it's funny how this is the thumbnail of the stream, and yet when I see this hap when I see this happen in the video, I'm just like, wow. Wow, it's in motion, too. It's, like, not even... Wow, I, I don't know. Uh, quite something else this what we're watching right can now. be very dangerous for your health. Okay. You and, uh, other assorted You must clean up your house every day. You must wash your clothes. You must do your clean your dishes. You cannot allow your house to become like this, or you will become like me. Be careful. <laughs> You'll become you must like me. Be careful. Find a way uh, to clean up this place. Uh, it's like, yeah, where do you even start bad. with this? Where, what do you begin with? Like, what is the top priority of this? Probably the smell. Probably tracking down the dead creatures that are creating the smell. I would say. Oh my god. Oh my god. I will not be able to finish the job here. I will not be able to clean up. Oh, it's awful now. And this was spring cleaning 2008, uh, yes? By the way, I've been cleaning up here. Uh, look at this. Spent uh, quite a bit of time and, well... You get some vagina uh, bacon? A lot easier to breathe Good. here now. You know, I don't have to use a gas mask and... Well, now I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I'm gonna say if uh, having to use a gas mask 
is a uh, is like a thing about your house. I my apartment is pretty fucking shitty. But I don't need a gas mask. Uh I feel like I feel like you should probably make changes in your life before you get to the the gas mask the the gas mask non-optional uh stage in your Clean life. Up, you know? uh, all this stuff. This is some this I is don't just, dare uh show this you is the just really something. bathroom though because you, um well. he doesn't dare show us the bathroom guys. But don't worry, we will see the bathroom because it's a main starring role in all of his cooking videos for some fucking reason. There's something unnatural in there. There's something unnatural in the bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. I remember that actually from before, uh, from the last the last stream about this. He just vaguely says there's something unnatural in there, and then we're, we're done. We're just done. We're just moving on from that. No time for questions. Um, wait a minute. Just not my day. Oh, this fucking cuck boy. Um, how to grill? Okay, so this is one that we saw before. Oh wait, special Christmas turkey. Oh jeez, coconut. Okay, well we saw the coconut bread. Wait, this is a different guy. Okay, well let's let's start with this one. We might not watch all of it, but this is the first one that I saw on the poorly cooking stream with with Bane, and uh, <laughs> it should give you uh. Have to. It should give you quite the uh, quite the introductory introdu introductory course to our man's. Recharge the battery. Uh, so we yeah. got a spool of discs in the kitchen for some reason, and that's really only the start of it. We've got like tissues. All right, so we're gonna be making some steak. Uh huh. Got the frozen steak here. That's not even um, a steak. Looks like a fucking still beating heart. The message board that apparently uh, trying to cook steak. Okay, P pay close attention to the 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 this the absolute state of his like stove and just his like work worktop like counter space uh, area. Look at the grease. You can see reflections in grease. On a pan with oil is kind of some kind of a crime or something. The so, dirt is stuck uh, to the oven because of all of the grease. Uh, probably this thing's still frozen, so we're gonna have to try to freeze it. Oh, we're gonna have to um, defrost the steak, everybody. How are we gonna go about uh, defrosting the steak? That produces heat. Something um, that produces heat. Paper. Or... Ah. And here we are in the bathroom. Um, as you okay, do. This will work. Okay. Uh, so the idea. Um... So in case you're not following along here, he needs to defrost his steak, and so. He needs something that produces heat. So he's found some paper tissues. Paper towels. There's his steak. Just place the steak down on the count the, the kitchen the bat sorry, the bathroom counter. This is fine. He's wearing fucking crocs, the most the, the, the biggest travesty of them all. How can we do this with one hand? I don't know, dude. Some people do some crazy shit with one hand. Why are we putting the steak on the toilet bowl, chat? Why is this happening, chat? Can you dis can you discern why this is going on in this video currently? Uh, Crocs are too cool for this man. Pipe, no. Bleh. Don't do that. The toilet's so dirty. Don't put it in the toilet. Physical embodiment of B, or maybe CK. Well, Masoki's, it's 2006 all over again. That's the amazing part, is this this homie has been doing this shit forever. Uh, <laughs> two bucks from Ames, it's a heart, not a steak. I keep saying this, lols. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, maybe it's a, it's a heart, it's, it's a heart steak, I don't know. Um, strange parallels with five bucks. I read that this is in his second house. Hi, Claw, you da best. He has two houses? You know, maybe he does. Maybe this man is, like, insanely rich. Maybe this is Getty Lee from Rush, and this is just how he chooses to live. And he's got multiple houses that are all like this. That is a fucking power move right there. It's like you invite a woman over to your house, and it's this disgusting ho fucking mess, and then you're just like, yeah, I could clean it, but I just have five houses, so why would I bother? That, you know what? I like this, I like this, this cooking with hoarders lore. I enjoy this.
Yeah, we're doing this. We're just trying to get it a bit softer. We're just trying to defrost the steak here, everybody. Remember. You can put some... Oh, more oh there it goes! Flammable it's okay, on. though. Three-second rule. Um, it's still good. It's still good. It's just a little airborne. It's still good. Um, what? But it's... Uh, it's not a good idea. Why do you have, like, a fucking bug spray can? It's not a good idea. Look at the toilet! I don't even know what that is. Is that like mildew? Is it mold? Is it just like seven generations of shit? What 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 am I looking yeah, at? It's kind of like um, not good to, to drink. Uh, it's like poison or something. So so I don't want to put it on your food. Um, it's all of that. Put this to some kind of heat. This has to be bait. To you would really hope so, wouldn't you? Hard. You would think um, this must be bait. This is a prank, right? Wait a minute. It's an epic prank, bro. Oh, well, it doesn't work. Oh, anyway. Uh, so he tried to defrost his steak using paper towels over the toilet bowl. For some... I don't know why the toilet bowl was necess was an important key, like, crucial part of this transaction, but... Uh, let's see. I guess for easy disposal, you know? It got... God made the toilet bowl to replace the garbage disposal. Well, to make a it's grill, understandable. Uh, we're gonna need, um, yeah. Uh, On a completely unrelated note, why is the why is the Canadian Switch eShop sh sale so terrible? Apparently, the American one is really good right now, but the Canadian one is like. Hey, you can buy fucking Super Chewed? What the fuck is this game? Anyways. Yeah, it's kind of tough with all this stuff. Bad um, dreams fever. You know, the strange thing about this place is that, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not disgusting if you if you know where to look. I mean, this apartment, <laughs> is, it's like a city, you know? Yes, if you close your eyes, it's not too disgusting. What is that, though? It's like a city? Uh, you, you know, when you, you're in a city, like, you know, if you go into the wrong neighborhood, like, you know, with the gangs and the, you know, the, 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 the criminals you know, and, the, and the, you know, the bikers and stuff like that, you know, they're, they're gonna I'm pretty sure a neighborhood filled with gangs, criminals, and bikers would probably be a little bit safer than this fucking, co the, the, this absolute, like, health hazard. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. How do you, like, how does he have us apart? I guess if this is a house, it makes sense. But if it's an apartment, it seems like an apartment because it's pretty small. I don't know how like the landlord would be putting up with this. I'm Natural very confused. And, you know, ask for ransom or you know whatever. Um, so you gotta like if if you know where to go, like you're safe, right? So this place is sort of the same thing. Like in a you replace disgusting with uh, you know with the kidnappings and uh, beheading <laughs> videos and stuff like that. What? What are we talking about beheading videos for? So here's another thing with this boy. He, uh... He likes to go on tangents, to say the least. I think he went off on some fucking... He... There was a video we watched last time, and I don't know which one it was. It might have been the cook, the, the coconut bread one. Where he went off about drinking black men. And something about their, like, how their semen tastes or looks. or I don't know! I don't know! But he likes to go on tangents, and uh, so yes, his 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 disgusting health code violation, rat infested apartment, is uh, like a is like a bad city where you know you don't go into the neighborhoods that are covered in mold and like falling apart and decaying and filled with like cockroaches. You don't go into those parts. You stay in the nice parts of town. Like, uh, wait a minute. I mean, it makes sense. Uh... Um, okay, wait a okay, um, you know, what I mean is like, you know, if you got a little work to look, cause like, you know, there are always stuff like, you know, spider webs, you know, this is a spider web. No, I, I'm, I'm not hurt. You know, this is my last, uh, don't let that spot about hurt you with the good lord split you. Um, and I won't be back until Friday, which is incidentally Friday the 13th. And what happened? You're gonna get...
Did you just get lost in your apartment somewhere? Uh, so thing? note what he's doing now, by the way. He's taking the oven rack. He's, um, and for some reason, placing this on the stovetop. Um, for those of you, by the way, who are just joining us, yes, we have looked at this video before. If you were here before on the poorly cooking three and knuckles featuring uh, Fuzo, um, we, take a, we took a look at this video and a few others. But I wanted to just introduce you all to the 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 madness that's about to happen. We're gonna we're mostly going to be watching some videos that I haven't seen yet. And he has a, a side channel. He has a website with some writings. Uh, so that's gonna be very exciting. But I just wanted to get you all up to speed with the first video of his that I saw. Wait a sec. You know, like every time I come back, there are always more spider webs for me to destroy during the uh, the next time I come back. You know, like see over there. Like those spider webs are, uh -huh. are all dried up. They're probably years old. Uh, wow. But you know it's too high, and I can't you know reach oh, okay. all the way That's up the there. Reason. So you know whatever. What about the fucking garbage on your floor or on your countertop? What about the sh the, the shit that you don't clean that's within arm's reach, dude? You're gonna need a better excuse than that. I didn't bother. You know. Uh, okay, so we need something to hold this stuff up. I normally I would use like a lemon or something. We need to have it up about three quarters of an inch. Um, wait a sec. If I have something here, uh, keys, um, maybe a battery. <laughs> no, that's too dangerous. Yeah, that's a little too dangerous. So what he's trying to do here is prop up the oven rack on top of the stove so that he can grill his steak. Because remember, we are hot. We are grilling steak without a grill here. This guy doesn't have a grill in his life. Um, a grilling steak without a grill. So he's decided to take the oven rack, plop it, prop, prop it up on top of the stove on lemons, apparently. Um, um, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, I this... don't know either, man. It's gonna melt. Oh, I got ah, a book. Let's put this... Wait a minute. Um, so if we jump ahead here, that's why I probably will never know what's in there. Um, okay, uh, well, we might try this. He's still just see. trying to prop up oh, this thing. But it's plastic. I need something here that, that doesn't melt like plastic and doesn't. He... That should work. Okay, so we need some like oil. A stick or something. Oil and basilisk. Uh. Okay, just a little tiny, tiny bit. Oh, he's oiling the steak. You know, I tried uh, cooking he with puts uh, it on coconut the... oil the other time, oh, God. and the stuff is pretty weird because he like, you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, he's like putting oil on the steak, and then he's about to do it's this. It's like just a little bit cold, and it gets all hard and everything. All right, uh, all right. we'll put it at max. Put it on max, it's babe. Like pretty. Do it. Uh, far away, and then basilisk. Basilisk? Uh, how do I open this? What? You mean basil? Is he calling it basilisk? What the fuck? Somebody read a little too much Harry Potter. Uh, basil? Wait a minute. Ah, uh, uh, you yeah. uh, Wait a sec, huh? I'll try to get this. Yeah, that's just basil leaves. I mean, basilisk. Everybody. Oh, fuck, I forgot to change the... Oh, yeah. Shit, um... Yeah, so he's trying to cook a steak here that, uh, on top of an open element. Uh, aluminum, here. With oil. Uh, I'm gonna change it next time, as mm -hmm. soon as I can. You know, what happens, all the disgusting stuff from all my cookings kind of accumulates in uh, the stuff you see all yeah, the, the sure aluminum it's kind that, of like black it? maybe you should buy a fucking frying pan and everything so it means i, I need to change the stuff now i can't do it tonight because it's too late i'll leave it here so i can remember next time i come um all right mm, uh it should be right. cooking maybe the the stuff is too high uh, -huh. uh well we'll see anyway you know 
hard. Oh. Oh, and here we go. Okay, looks like. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. How could we have seen There's this coming? Salt. How could we have out. avoided this? I don't understand. Uh, Let's put some salt uh, on that fire. Uh, Be cool uh, about fire. A safe day. Ah uh, shit. Oh shit. Nah, uh, uh, just pour more salt on it, dude. That'll do it. <laughs> I don't see why uh, he's freaking out. Oh. He's he's cooking his steak by an open Heavy flame. Steak. That's how you do it. Uh, it's gonna die. I'm gonna fucking get. Uh, why is he pouring oh. salt on it? Uh, huh. On second thought. Um, looks like I need to change the aluminum right now. Uh -huh. Oh shit! You know the other time. I on second about, thought, buy a frying pan. I was thinking about when I was, uh, you know, practicing martial arts. You know, oh like okay. Millions of years ago. Watch out, guys! This this homie's about to fuck you up. There were dinosaurs in the street. Don't talk shit. Or something it was a really long time ago, and I remember uh, at some point I got quite a reputation because we were like, uh, you know, in. Uh, in a group exercise, we're supposed to go in pairs, but that day we were not number, and I happened to be the one uh, who was, uh, you know, without a pair. So mm -hmm. I, I paired up with the instructor, you know, and um, oh, it'd be we like started that fighting, sometimes. you know. And at some point, the setting him on a lifetime of dis laughing, disappointment and, and failure. Everyone was asking, you know, what's wrong? What's wrong? And he said, you know, I was doing special effects, like instead of punching like that, I would do, <laughs> you know, like that. Like explosion noise, and I didn't even notice that. And he was rolling over himself. Now that's pretty stupid, but you get the idea, okay? Like even if it didn't work this time, because I got to change the aluminum. Uh, this is how you do it if you don't have a grill. So don't spend like five hundred dollars or whatever. So uh, remember that, and uh, yeah. that's it. Don't bother spending five hundred dollars or whatever. Just cook your fucking meat on a greasy, disgusting oven rack over your like stove top, and cause a fire. And don't forget to defrost your steak uh, in front of the toilet. As you do. All right. So that was the that was the grilling steak video. Uh, very nice. Again, we've seen this one before. We're going to move on to some stuff that we have not seen yet. Um, cooking with masaokis. Masaokis makes cooking bread, uh, coconut bread, hot dogs, and peaches. I've seen him make hot dogs, but is this a different thing? Okay, I'm gonna teach you guys some techniques to um, uh, correctly burn uh, or prepare sausages mm -hmm. or hot dogs. Correctly burn the sausages? Okay, thank you. Um, Sounds good. So putting it on the stove may not be a good idea. A better way would be uh, to uh, burn them with a lighter. Uh, I think I have... Uh, the food not work. Yes. Okay, I think there was a lighter somewhere. Hello? Hello? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Do the turkey. I think we did the turkey. So you think the... But maybe. Sausage? Welcome to Chills. Number 50. You gotta be careful when you cut it open that you only cut a little bit, okay? So that mm -hmm. you don't, like, destroy the things there. Did we watch this one? I know we watched okay. something to do with hot dogs. So like, you gotta hold But it was the secret of hot dogs was what he called it. And this is just cooking hot dogs and peaches. Sausage. What What do the peaches have to do with and this? Use a, a lighter. Maybe this is secretly some super fucking gourmet, like five star hot dog shit. Like when they take a common street food and they're like, we're going to infuse it with jasmine and uh, a hint of... Tibetan monk fingernails, and I think it'll really spice up the flavor. Oh, Kobe beef. Maybe that's what's happening here. Just a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Not too much. Why? Then you pull it a little bit, and you use Why? something to hold the sausage in place. Why would you cook a sausage? Okay? Fucking no, you don't want to do this too much, because who th who gave him the idea to do to try this? Did somebody just troll this man? 
so hard that he now just think, thinks this is how you cook? What the fuck, man? At some man? point, the, the sausage is going to have, like, weird things that are going to pop up. Mm -hmm. Or, like, you know, there's going to be some weird things, you know, that are going to, like, liquid or something. What's in the blender? I think so it's peaches, do apparently. A bit on each side. Okay. Now, another strategy is to drill little holes in the sausage. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Drill Get little holes careful. in them, huh? Like this. You know, this allows some heat to to get in. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, you do have to stab the hot dogs to, so they don't explode. a better explode. way would be to, wait a minute. Okay. I have this. A candle can also oh be used God, for sausages. Oh, candle now. Everybody. Like, you have a little fire and you can just hold the sausage over it. You see? Why would you ever Although think black to do this? Either, it doesn't matter. It's just dirt, okay? Like, you can clean it away it's just dirt. after some point. Mm -hmm. No, some people like the dirt. It's a, see? It's just like, it's a delicacy. Like dude. that, and... Uh, it's a good way to I clean... See rev from uh, to, uh, boil or... Does Rev live like this? Sausages. Oh my god! It F some chat time, though, for Rev. Another alternative would be... This must just be how Texas with is. With a, a sheet of paper or something. Okay, like a receipt from a store, okay? And you burn it, and you put it, like, under the sausage. This is worse than the prison hot dog thing also have. <laughs> prison hot dogs? If it smells weird, don't worry. I mean, it's just a temporary thing. You can always clean it up a little See, bit. See, I probably shouldn't have told you guys to say F, because okay. now I don't know if the stream is dead. <laughs> well, this was a mistake. Notes, right? Okay. But, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, w welcome to the stream, if you're just joining us. This man is trying to cook a hot dog over a candle. 10,000 IQ play, honestly. This is some five-head shit. Mm. Oh, and now we're washing it. Right? Okay. An important part of cooking your hot dogs is to... is to burn them halfway and then wash the, the bacterias off of them. Uh, and the, you know, the, the parasites and worms and things. And then you cook them the rest of the way after you've finished washing them in water. That's the, that's the recipe that I think comes on the back of the Schneider's hot dogs. So, well, I mean, really, this isn't like that wrong. Bread or, like, you can cut it in pieces or, mm. you know, you can also extrapolate it back there or boiling water. But it's a little tough to boil water because you got to take things away. What? It's a little tough to boil water because you got to take things away. Is he saying that he cannot boil water because his oven is so fucked up that he doesn't have room for it? So he's decided that the vastly easier solution to this problem is to use a candle to cook a single hot dog wiener on an open flame. You know, uh, uh... I don't have commentary for that one. Let's just move on. Um, Let's just uh, move on. Wait. I think I have some kind of thing there. Look up dino tendies. Oh, we're going to get a video about dino tendies at some point. Don't you worry about that. There's a few 4chan CK cooking oh, threads okay, wait a minute. <laughs> that are worth taking a look at. You don't die. Don't put very too much dedicated on it troll. I don't believe it. Makes weird things happen. I don't know if then he's. Just I don't know if he's a troll. I want to believe it. I don't know if I believe it. That's the right one here. And then you just sit there and wait. You can do things with the other sausages as well. Mm -hmm. For example, you can mix. You the can do things with them. Yeah. What kind of things, dude? You got anything in mind or in ass? The sausage with the. Um, the peach juice, the peach which juice, which I made with a little bit of water. This time it uh -huh. works better. Um, We're gonna have our hot dogs with our.
peach juice, everybody. I don't know why, but sausages always taste good when you eat peaches at the same time. So Do why they not now? Put them together. So like. This is brand new breaking news information, everybody. Try your sausages with peach juice. Oh God, he's blending it into the peaches. Uncooked hot dog in peach puree. Oh God. Stop this monster. I can stop the video, but you know that that's not going to stop the man. Smells a little bad, but that's just because the... Welcome, Zara. Please turn back now. There's smoke um, coming there. I think it's not supposed to do that. He's can you use this to... <sighs> Diarrhea juice. Is he trying it? He has to try it. Uh, with a drink. What drink? Okay, now there's a little fire. Oh, wait, no. Is he saying that he wants to drink the hot dog peach juice? Is that what he me meant when he said the word drink? Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, and somehow we have another fire happening, everybody. I don't even know how this one started. It just happened. It was... He wasn't even looking at it. He just turned around and... Uh-oh, there's a fire! That's just the way he, he is. This man deals with this shit on a daily basis. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Okay, I turned the wrong, uh... Can you imagine all of the people that you've known who have chat, who have, like, unfortunately, like, hurt themselves or died even in accidents, like fires or something, and this fucking guy has a fire every day in his disgusting, awful apartment. Where he is is basically put it like this is a oh my god number and you really think this has to be a troll right like it has to be there's no way it could be real right except this guy has been going for over ten years and he's got writings and we're gonna get to the writings and he's got a whole side channel which more or less proves that he's not in fact a troll or if he is I I think his brain forgot that. I think maybe he started trolling and he just went crazy and now he just is this way. It's like the Wonder Bread guy. It started out as a joke, but after a while he just really fucking loved Wonder Bread. Wait a minute. Okay. The I fire is still this. going. Okay. Now what happened? Uh, I put the sausage to boil here, but... I think I turned the wrong and we're just back in the bathroom handle. again, by the way. You see these little handles? Yeah, like I turned this one, but the sausage was actually on this one. So I turned the wrong one. How do you make that and mistake? And the flashlight uh, began burning. It's like the complete other side of it. Um, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, mm. He melted his fucking flashlight because he couldn't just take shit off of the oven. Like, couldn't you just throw it onto the ground? Uh, it's fine. It's not like it's going to a better place in the apartment. It's not like it's getting cleaned up. But wouldn't it at least help the situation at, like, present if you just put the shit on the ground? Just add to the trash pile that's already on the ground. What, what the fuck? What the fuck? Or at least no, or at least no, when you turn on the fucking element on your stove, which one is going to be covered in a flashlight and a bunch of other burn burnable fucking shit. It's a flashlight. Flammable shit. Burnable, whatever. Um, Dude, all this trash. Damn, that's going to cost a lot of money to repair. In my this guy is a lawyer, by the way. Welcome to Canada. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, I can still use it, I guess. We don't speak of the Wonder Bread guy. Um... Okay, so well, we still have the sausage and peach juice here. Um... Which can make a good drink. It's gonna make a good drink, everybody. The sausage and peach juice. Um... I don't know if I can taste this. I don't know if it's gonna be... What? Whoa! Fuck, what a smell. No, yeah, of course it's got a bad smell! It's sausage and peach juice! Okay, we're gonna forget about the... <laughs> okay, alright. Wow. Okay, so first of all, get a load of the bathroom. But secondly, like... <laughs> it's like he didn't think of the concept that a hot dog 
uncooked, gr- ground up, and blended into like peaches would be not very good. It's like he just didn't think about that, or maybe he just assumed that it would be better. I don't know. I'm I can only assume that this guy has to be like fucking crazy. And he just had this flight of fancy in his head that told him, yeah, let's make sausage peach liquid. And it'll be great. It'll be great. And then he, like, tried it. And he was like, oh, wait, actually, this is disgusting. What was I thinking? I shouldn't have done that. No, you should not have done that. Okay, guys, don't mix sausages with peaches. Fuck. Okay, guys, don't mix mud with shit. Technician tip, everybody. Damn it. Oh, man. Okay. I know some of you in chat probably have pretty fucked up, like, bedrooms and houses, too. I do, too. Got shit all over my floor because I am a piece of garbage. But, you know, doesn't this just make you feel great about yourself? Doesn't this just make you feel so much better about your own living quarters? Um, this is feel good viewing, everybody. I'm going back to my house uh, tomorrow, so. So this is not this your house. So you're like just doing this to someone's el- else's house. For a couple of days now. Wow. Oh. Um, Hot dog peach. Is this a okay, joke? I think I gotta. You think so? Go to sleep or something. You think so? Whatever. Okay. Good night, boys. Uh. And girls. Boys, how what? dare you? Okay, and girls. I was gonna say, how dare you misgender us? Cheeseburger part one. Oh, this is a two-parter. There's also making pizza on his fucking second channel. We're gonna get to his second channel, but let's start with cheeseburger part one. I'm very curious about this. Let's let's also open this one. Uh, because that needs to be there. But this one. Hey guys. Yeah, I'll be good. Yeah. So, remember last time I was talking about Italy and bathrooms? Mm -hmm. You know, in Italy, the law forces you to have, you know, um, windows in your bathroom. And here, well, you don't need windows. Does it? You know? It's not illegal. You, You don't have to have windows in your bathroom. Things that oh, okay, so some somebody in the chat before, in the last stream where we talked about this guy, correctly noted that this man is basically real life Harry S. Plinkett. Uh, weird found footage vibe as he goes around his apartment and disgustingly makes food, um, and and something unnatural is in the is in the bathroom. We don't go in there, and maybe if we go into the basement, we might see Nadine. Drinking out of her Titanic movie cup. Every time I come to the bathroom, I was like, this is like, you know, Please, some kind Mr. of a spaceship, you know, I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> going in the middle of every, every like, you know, in the god. Wait, 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 what? What, what? Are we talking about spaceships now? What? In the middle of this. <laughs> what, what is happening here? This is like, you know, some kind of a spaceship, you know, I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> going in the middle of every, every, like, you know, in the galaxy, whatever. Uh huh. Yeah, you know, in Italy. You got like windows, you know, for the smell or whatever, and uh, because of the windows, you know, you can see like the houses or whatever, and so like what? it destroys the whole dream, you know. It's like you're you're not in a spaceship. What? You're, you're, you're in the sun. What are you saying? From a spaceship, so you can like lie down in the bath or something, and or. So he's saying that he likes to be in a bathroom without a window because it makes him feel like he's in a spaceship. Chat? Chat? When you realize it wasn't weed you smoked? He's reviewing Star Wars. He is Mr. Plunker. Oh my god. This is totally filmed while on the toilet. <laughs> No, nobody thinks that. Rise of Skywalker would leave bodies in its wake. It was a fine movie, shut up. It wasn't great, but it was fine. It was like at least above a five. It's worse than Plinkett. Yeah, because Plinkett's a joke. Because you know Plinkett is just a joke. Lie on the floor and like, 
like this little thing is like the control for the spaceship or oh, whatever. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna make Door stuck. A, a cheeseburger. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Look at the floor. Uh, okay, we're gonna making. Guys, you can see the floor. I mean, there's a bunch of fucking like next Nestle Aquafina bottles over here, but you can see the floor. There's a floor. Uh, cheeseburger. There's a more floor over there. There's tiles and everything. Wow. This is the cleanest his apartment has ever been. When was this made? 2010. Okay, well. <sighs> Origin tale of trash, I guess. Uh, uh, I got some meat. Yeah. Especially for this. Uh, wait, the, okay. This isn't really beef. It's beef, pork, and veal. Because the reason mm -hmm. why I chose this one is because, uh, you know, in McDonald's, you know... Uh, you, you, you don't know what you're eating there, you know, it's like, uh, you, you, you might have beef, but uh -huh. maybe like cow eyeballs or, uh -huh. or whatever, there's all kinds of stuff mixed together. So, so to mix, so, so to, 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 to emulate the wonderful feel of a McDonald's where you don't know if you're eating rat tails or whatever, we're going to get pork, beef, and veal mixture on our... In our bur is that is that a fa is that a feature though of McDonald's that you need to emulate is the uncertainty that what you're eating is actually food is that a feature that we need to emulate I don't know and the best way to imitate the delicious taste of McDonald's is to have this, all this weird stuff not put together okay so you guys remember the the K's cooking Big Mac right when she made a Big Mac Maui and it was just like two pounds of lard and an unpatified beef lump in the pan and then buttered buns sorry margarine buns or bread cakes sorry because she's weird and british so we're going to be able to compare this to um, so cheeseburger cheeseburger to Kay's cooking <sighs> this looks like mm, the start of an execution this. Still, well, anyway, pray for beef um, Oh yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't drink any alcohol for the past few days, so I'm a little. We would never have noticed. For, uh, wow, I usually don't. Uh, most of the time. Tile fetish uh, guy has uh, entered the chat. <laughs> all you need, all he needed to see was was cooking with hoarders, delicious, delicious kitchen tiles and. You know, you know, the the rest is history. Um, this is very exciting. Maybe this was the video that gave that guy that fetish. When when I make videos, I I'm at least partially drunk. So uh, don't worry, dude. I'm pretty sure when you make videos, you don't even need to drink to be partially drunk. I think I think I think that is I think he's known Khaleesi. Uh, sometimes I don't even remember whether or not. I'm drunk, you know, I'm just like, you know, maybe, did, did I drink alcohol? Or yeah, did I not, dude, that's or, how you do it. I'm not 100% sure. Put a little bit of oil. And, um, okay. Some meat. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so why are I'm I'm sorry, I'm being distracted by everything else in the video, but I, this is also technically a cooking video. So he's putting. He's making a burger, right? And he's putting o a bunch of fucking oil. Why do these people think this is how you make burgers? Fucking K did this same shit. Where she was like, let's just put six pounds of lard in the pan, I guess. Because it's not like beef has its own fat. It's not like ground beef is fatty. No, let's put fucking... Ta let's just cover the entire bottom of this pan or pot for whatever reason in fucking oil what is he going to do um, with the oil i am on okay. the edge of my seat some meat uh, uh -huh. is he cooking the burgers uh, in McDonald's the McDonald's is all crushed and and disgusting -y and uh -huh. like merged together and they probably put like crazy glue or something uh, oh, the... this guy sure lo sure seems to hate McDonald's for like how I don't think you can talk shit about McDonald's, dude. I'm sorry. I, I think uh, I think this is the first time in history where somebody's been 
incapable of providing McDonald's with, like, tips. Like, oh, it's disgusting. You probably put crazy glue in your... Bitch! You cook your steak on a toilet! Just... Well, I'm not, I'm not sure what they put. It's like, it's, it's all, like, bumpy thingy. Hashtag justice whatever. for McDonald's. Okay, so... Uh, I don't, yeah, the, the cheeseburgers are, the bread is not- At least when McDonald's has rats in it and shit in its kitchen, it turns into a scandal. This is just a Saturday for this. Roasted and McDonald's. So, cheeseburgers. Slices of bread. Of course, we use bread for our cheeseburgers because... Literally the five cents that it would have cost to buy the buns instead of the, the bread was just, that's just not in the budget. Okay. Uh, you could take the bread at the end so like couldn't even a, use a buns with the, for the burger stuff that goes over like in the end like the, the cheeseburgers at McDonald's well I've seen King uh, Cobra JFS yummy yummy meat in my tummy I motherfucker if you go to Burger King at least this guy's not making his burger with peanut butter jelly and mayonnaise but I mean there's this is just part one there's still a part at least a part two instead of McDonald's uh, you have uh, a little white thingies like sesame seeds. White thingies. So you can try that. Uh -huh. uh, on the top of the, the, the machine there, the, the, the bread. Um, uh, it opens this. He sounds uh, drunk. He swears that he's not drunk. Uh, 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 I really got a feel for people who only got one hand, huh? Yeah, kind of sucks. Represent, motherfuckers. Uh, so did you guys hear about the uh, Greg Valentine? Honestly, I don't need to tell you this, but I, I, with the one hand I have, I, uh, I've been certainly a lot better in a kitchen than this man. I think has has de demonstrated on his his videos. What, what's he talking about now? So did you guys hear about the? Uh, Greg Valentino, this bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been uh, hearing about him uh, recently on, on the radio. People are talking about him. Um, he, he's this guy with you know, he's got huge arms. You know, if you look at you know a Google image search of Greg Valentino, it feels like he's got like babies in his arms, like they said on the radio. Anyway. Um, that snug feeling of holding a couple baby Smurfs in your balls. Isn't that one of our Apparently cards for Birds Against Humanity? Uh, Starwise, that was a problem, but uh, apparently he, uh, you know, he injected oil now? in his arms so that they would grow like to ridiculous size or whatever. It's just you know, pretty ridiculous. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are those maggots? What is that on the it's counter? Pretty ridiculous. What are what are these things here? These don't look like good things to have on your counter. This looks like fucking bacteria under a microscope. And I really need to have a screen here because sometimes you see that even if I don't put it at max, even if I like a lower medium, uh, sometimes a little bit of oil just like pew, flies on. It hit me, and you know sometimes. It, it, it got me in the eye, and I thought I was going to go blind or something. Um, wait, is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so... If I was working at McDonald's, I probably would have been fired already, because I'm too slow. Uh, the cheeseburger should have been ready. They'd be, like, yelling, yeah, 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 we're all this cheeseburger. Honestly, if you worked at McDonald's, I'm pretty sure they'd have to shut down the entire business, dude. Okay, uh, let's put some mustard. Okay, so that's part one. What's going on with part two oh. here? I think I remember there being mustard. Wow, that's enough mustard. Is that enough mustard? That is like a pound and a half of mustard. There is more mustard on that bun than there will be beef. That much. Um, Just use your finger. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Maybe again. Wow. Um, I can't believe this. Like, I just... You know the feeling that I, I don't know how... I don't know if you guys had this feeling, but when I watched Kay, when I first started watching Kay's videos, I had this overwhelming sense of just frustration 
as she somehow managed to destroy the simplest things. She somehow managed to just fuck up even the most basic of fucking things. And here comes, along comes this man using his finger to spread the fucking two pounds of mustard that he put on this slice of Wonder Bread, which he's using for his burger, cooked in fucking g grease. Ah! It's a mustard sandwich. There's a bit too much Why here. It? Why is it? Yeah, ah. okay. Make sure you rinse your mustard bread with your, your bathroom tap water also. That that helps. Uh, my back hurts. You know, the problem is that my computer chair uh, and, and my uh, desk chair or whatever, when I'm reading books or tapping on my computer, Oh no! Is leaning forward. Oh no! Uh, so just use a spoon! Oh my God! No! Uh, after like oh a few days, oh my God! You know, I got I gotta you know spend like at least a few entire days oh. without uh, you oh. know sitting down to read oh, or, no. or to do like read stuff on the computer. Or Guys, I have seen a lot of shit, and I cannot deal with this one right now. I I I I am giving up. I like, think I have to fucking give up. Non-sit days. Uh, so I have sat through so much. Uh, I've been trying uh, in, in the gym to focus a lot on, uh, you know, uh, exercises for the back, like you know, hyperextension stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but I uh, okay. Let's see now. We can put the meat. Of course you do. Of course you're cooking your meat in this like fucking two inch deep fucking puddle of oil in this pot. Why are you cooking a burger in a pot? I don't know. Why didn't you cook all of your other shit in a pot? Why why did you need to start a fucking fire on your element before, dude? I really need some kind of a shield or Okay, let me just give the most ba let me just give the most basic of cooking tips here. Uh, welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. This is now a culinary advice stream. Um, you don't need to use oil when you're cooking a, a burger or really any kind of ground beef in any capacity because um, yeah, a, a ground beef is fatty, very very fatty. Even if you get the extra lean, you probably don't need oil. I think you'll you'll be fine. You certainly don't need as much oil as this man just put in, and let's be honest, he did not buy the extra lean meat. You don't need oil. This has been your PSA of the day. Uh, literally just do none of the things that this man has done. In fact, don't even have a house. Be homeless. Better than living like this. Need some kind of a screen or maybe a, a towel or something. Would screen me from the, the oil and would be bouncing on me if I kind of mix. The first time I ever had mustard, bathrooms, spaceships, yeah. and maggots in the same thought. Um, this burger needs some peach sausage juice. Hell yeah, dude. That's how you do it. So, of course, this is no longer a burger anymore because this man doesn't, much like Kay, this man has not figured out the concept of making a patty. Apparently, these people think you can just, like, put a bunch of fucking loose meat into a, a puddle of oil and somehow it's going to, like, bippity-boppity-boo itself into the shape of a burger. Maybe it'll even form the fucking bun and the cheese. What? I am so excited about the cheese. Is this just going to be, like, a craft single? Is it going to be like fucking cheese whiz? Is it going to... I have no idea. Maybe he'll just scrape the cheese off of Ritz crackers and call it a day. Okay. Uh, I think the thing can calm down. Um, oh, now oh, he yeah, has yeah, a spoon. Yeah. Okay. Uh... You got those uh, green uh, uh, 
dildo-like fruits or whatever. I don't know what they're called. Green dildo-like fruits? Um, I always put that in. That is a cucumber! That is not a fruit. It is a vegetable. It is a cucumber. And they do not put cucumbers on burgers. They put pickles on burgers. Fuck! McDonald's. Uh, well, I think Burger King is one. Unreasonably upset. Oh no, he cut the green dildo fruit in half, everybody. Every every man, check 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 below. Just make sure it's it's fine. Uh, Cross your legs. Uh, dildo like wait, fruit. Minute. This man has a law degree. Uh, Rem remember, fellow Canadian scum, uh, if you ever need a, a lawyer, if you ever need law advice in Canada, this is probably the person that you're... I don't know, because remember, um, remember the, vid the video Medicare did, like, fucking ten years ago about Mama K? And how, like... Uh, Jesus Christ, I, I don't even... I don't even remember what I was talking about. Forget it. It's it's fine. I, I it's just fine. Ugh. I need the link to this. It fell on the floor. It's disgusting. Yeah, I I was about to go off on a tangent about something, and I don't even remember what it was now. It was about Mama K. It might have been about her fucking weird, like, disgusting vegan cakes or whatever. I I, I have no idea what I was about to talk about. So. Oh yeah, I remember. Was it Mama K? I th I don't know if it was Mama K, but there was somebody that Medicare was talking about who was like, it was Spax Three. It was one of his oldest fucking videos about this weirdo named Spax Three, and Spa. It was not Mama K. It was Spax Three, and there was this guy who was like a weirdo on the internet, and he was like threatening people, including Medicare, who wasn't Medicare at the time. He was like a different dude, but. He was threatening people, and he was like, My mom is a lawyer, you know. And and Medicare was just like, If you look at his house video, that's not the house of a lawyer. That That is the house of, like, some disgusting shit. So maybe this is that kind of thing, where he says that he's, he's a lawyer. I don't know. I, I'm not sure what the... I don't know. I'm scared and disoriented. So let's just recap this, ladies and gentlemen. We've got... Loose, uncompressed beef frying in oil. We've got, um, enough mustard for six burgers slathered with his finger on top of a plain piece of white bread, which he later threw on top of his fucking disgusting, dirty bathroom, like, sink counter. And he's also adding cucumber, a.k.a. the green dildo-like fruit. Uh, and he, he suggested adding some sashimi seeds, I think is how he pronounced it. Which I guess you just, like, throw onto the burger? I don't know, usually those are in the bun. So, I'm not sure what the logistics of this are, but... Yeah, does it sound good to you? We're only... We are almost oh, done with this, wait, actually. Wait, where did I put the knife? Wait, oh yeah, there it is. Um, what do you think is in the, the, the drawers? Like, there's a bunch of drawers... Do you think he has anything organized in the drawers? Do you think he has, like, the knives in the drawers and he can just be like, Oh, well, let me get a knife. It's in the drawer. No, I don't think so. I think there's just more clutter and bullshit in the drawers, honestly. Um, Cucumber rack! Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. No, he actually has a law degree. I mean, it's, I guess, possible that he... Why are we cutting a cucumber for this burger? What in the fuck? Uh, but I guess it's possible that he got his law degree in, like, the 1970s or something. And, like, he, he, is, he has gone fully fucking crazy since. Um, apparently my fucking bong is leaking all over me, great. Man, it's all liquidy on this. You know, I almost feel like, you know, it's like I'm giving the camera a blowjob or something. What? Yeah, anyway, uh... 
okay. kinds of things that this man says are just things that I cannot prepare for, you know? Like, I, I'm, cu- I'm going along here, and I'm on one fucking crazy-ass, like, Donkey Kong Country minecart level with this cooking thing that's happening. But then he just throws me a curveball, and suddenly we're in, like, a fucking Donkey Kong 64 minecart level. And all of a sudden, we're hearing about drinking black men and giving the camera a blowjob and a fucking bathroom without a, a, a window being, like, a spaceship and whatever the fuck! Oh, right now I just have Bomberman Hero music stuck in my head. Five slices of cucumber. Yeah. Oh, is that the cheese? What are you doing? He put the cheese on top of the cucumber! <laughs> So this is a sandwich again. This is a this is a burger, quote unquote, which consists of un- uncompressed non patty beef bathed in, in oil on top of two slices of cheese on top of fucking cucumber on top of all of the mustard that there is on top of a fucking slice of white bread, which was later put on top of his fucking bathroom counter. Okay, all right, okay! Oh, God. Eat up, everyone. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. Just delicious. Giant fucking disgusting shitty lump of beef that he just like deep fried in oil and slapped on top of the cheese, which is certainly how you make burgers, everybody. Certainly how you make a cheeseburger. And don't forget the fucking cucumber! Let it spread a little bit more. Wait a minute. You could probably actually sell this, though, in, like, a restaurant and tell somebody that's, like, a fancy, like, gourmet burger, and they'll be like, oh, the cucumber is a is a creative addition to this delectable culinary feast. Mm. I'm, I enjoy the placement of the cheese underneath the beef, which allows for more optimal cheese meltiness distribution. Yes. And, and people would just not even know. It would be wonderful. Crackhead gourmet. Ah, okay, okay. Let's put this Death here. Death would be tastier than this. Okay. No. You forgot he wiped the mustard off with the toilet paper. You're right. I forgot that he had too much mustard, and he decided instead of finding a spoon or a knife, I'm going to swish the mustard around on the fucking piece of bread with my finger, and then I'm going to wipe off the excess with fucking toilet paper. This is like the party cheese salad from Cooking with Jack, where there's just so much shit. There are so many elements going into why this makes me want to kill myself that I can't think of all of the elements. By the way, we are going to be making a party cheese salad. That might be a Christmas video. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Here. Might also be New Year's. No, no, no No promises for... What was that? Was that ketchup? No promises for when on that, but it's gonna happen soon that ketchup look at all the ketchup ketchup that is like four burgers worth of ketchup how is he doing okay can't see it we can't no there you go oh no and uh oh no the sesame seeds oh the sesame seeds uh, everybody uh, okay. um, he's just gonna throw some fucking seeds on top of this disgusting sandwich Oh my god, wow. So, there you go. That's how you do it. An authentic... AUTHENTIC! Uh, very low in calories or something. Uh Uh-huh, it's fucking deep fried in oil, yeah? Of course it's not true, but you know... No, it's not. Not true at all. I'm pretty sure Kay's burger was better than this. At least Kay's fucking burger was on buns. 
and uh that's that's the only that's the only compliment I can give it actually. It was pretty bad. But you know Okay, no, this is actually technically probably better than Kay's burger. I'm thinking about it. Because Kay's burger was literally just like grease and beef and bun. Uh this is like grease and beef and way too much mustard and ketchup and also fucking cucumber and like cheese, I guess. I'm amazed he didn't fuck up the cheese. Oh, and just some added, like, sesame seeds that he put on top of the bun, which are literally just going to fall off because they were not baked into the bun. I, I'm saying bun. It's a bread. It's it's a it's a one single bread. That's what it is. No, it's, it's not a bun at all. Taste, Let's taste uh, it, everybody. Got a bad feeling about this. Why did you make it, then? A bad feeling. Uh, it's all... Falling apart looks like blood or something, or a menstrual fluid. No, that doesn't. Menstrual make fluid. Make a very tasty image. All right. Ah. Uh. Mmm. Mmm. No, not bad. Oh my god, that's not bad. He likes it, everybody. He likes it. He likes it. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at the super chats now. Um. Let me jump back to bear. Um, what do we got here? Steve Redka with 100 rubles, uh, celebrating my 12th birthday while watching Crackheads with my friends. Tw 12th birthday? Really? Oh. It, are Russian years different than American years? I, anyways, uh, congratulations, and thank you very much. Meeb with 299, Hoarder and Dead Things? I've got a link for you. Well, that sounds very interesting. Um, <laughs> Tacone No Cash with $5. I've been a janitor for five plus years. I ain't cleaning that. Just watch out for any necro zoo guys eyeing up any dead dogs on the premises. Mr. Zeke Blostein with two uh, euros. I hate nib bars. I hate. Uh, well, ju, ju, uh, I hate. Sp uh huh. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, strange parallels with five bucks. I, I read this one already. I read Ames is here too. Uh, two bucks from Test Subject 306. Yes, it's like a crime ridden abandoned city. Um,. In response to his assertion that his disgusting rat-filled apartment was it's just like a, a lo as like a city. There's some bad neighborhoods you don't want to go to. Um, Two dollars again from Test Subject 306. God left this man to die, and he somehow survived. I lived, bitch. Um, two, two euros from Mr. Zeke Blostein. How degenerate do I have to be to have you add me? Uh... Like, like where, add you? Hmm. I mean, I mean, I don't think you could possibly be more degenerate than what we're looking at. So, sorry, I don't think that's going to happen, but but thank you. Uh, Anders Pak with uh, 20 Sekiro dollars, or S-E-K, a bit toward the cost of hook polish, colon P. Oh, thank you. I, I could actually use some hook polish. Um, it's getting pretty dull. I need to, need to maintain my best life. Um... Josh Joshua A. Joshua? I don't know. Uh with two dollars. You should see his omelet for Obama video. Oh, nice. That sounds that sounds interesting. Um five dollars from Union five oh three uh Union five seven three, sorry. I wonder if he knows how to make piss wine. I mean, if you think about it, wine is basically just the, the human body's piss anyways. You know, you don't even need... it's it's You just need to let it ferment for a while, really accumulate those flavors, you know? Um, Andres Pock with 50 Sekiro dollars. I'm sorry that I'm calling it that, but I see S-E-K, and that's what I think of. Too much water makes weird things happen. Uh, always remember as not sure why, to be honest. Um, too much water makes weird things happen. Well, I mean... I think there's enough weird things going on in this guy's apartment. Um, Corecraft X with five dollars. My first time watching your stream live. Not gonna lie, miss your old format where everything was more consolidated. Well, I've been doing some videos recently, uh, more more frequently. I have been enjoying the streaming more than like sitting down and fighting with Adobe for two weeks just to put out like a ten minute video. Um, but I've been recently doing the whole face cam thing uh which 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 makes which makes the videos a little different but i feel like they're a little bit easier to like edit for me and um some some people seem to like them so i think i'll probably be doing some more of that but yeah i mean it's it's fair if you if you're not uh 
super into the streams, I guess. I, I, I tend to prefer doing streams. When I find some weird shit, my first thought is not usually to make a video about it, but rather to uh, share it with, with you lovely folks um, live. So I, I guess that's just uh, my, my goals have changed slightly. But, you know, I'm making a lot of videos late, lately, a couple per week. So um, hopefully the consolidated format can get back on track. Um, but thank you, sir. Uh, Anders Pack with 20 SEK. YouTube needs a series called Cook with a Hook. I mean, we're going to be making the party cheese salad. It's going to be pretty exciting. Um, we, I could maybe title the video that. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, and thank you for the, the, the 20 Securo dollars. And I'm very sorry that I keep calling it that. Uh, Michelle L with two Australian dollars. Rest in peace. We've, I think that's Australian. We've, we've entered hell. Yes, yes indeed. Two dollars from Glenna. Claw, please read his stories. You'll love them. His stories, huh? Like his, oh, you mean the ones on his site. Okay. I thought you meant like YouTube stories for a second. Um, I was about to post my first ever YouTube story last night, and it was uh, the Rise of Skywalker, like, sitting in the theater, but then I was just like, ah, who gives a shit? What the fuck even is this feature? I don't think I've ever looked at a YouTube story before. I think I'm good. Um, but yes, we're going to be getting to his website in a little bit. Um, we're going to be moving on fairly shortly to his side channel, which then links to his website with his writings. So that's going to be very exciting. Uh, 100 rubles from Steve Redka. By the way, Bazooka Hands Synthol guy he mentioned is real. Are you going to review him or you just don't like anything Russian? Huh. Bazooka Hands Synthol guy? Bazooka? What? I'm going to need some more. Was that the, what's his name? Frank Valentino or whatever the guy was talking about? I, I don't know who that was, but that sounds interesting. <laughs> Bazooka Hands Synthol guy. That could be a good name for the video. Uh, five bucks from Spooky Nerdy Skellington. A quote from my brother. This guy's house is where AIDS comes from. So I tried to do. I tried to do a Rich Evans AIDS. It didn't come out that well. But but yes, I believe it. I, I believe this is the house where the guy originally fucked a monkey, and now we have AIDS, which is that, how that joke goes. I don't. I don't think that's actually how AIDS happened, but that's how the joke is. Um, and two bucks from Rooted Onion. I know our expectations were low, but what the fuck? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's not it's not great. It's uh, it's got the, the I. Mm, it's not not good, not very good. Um, but that that was uh, that was cheeseburger part two. We've learned how to effectively make a cheeseburger. Um, I want to see the one that was mentioned about the omelet for Obama. How to make moonshine? Oh, nice. Where's the Obama omelet? Um, I don't even know how to spell omelet. God damn it! Is it omelet? I think it is. For Obama, omelet for o okay. Omelet for Obama, part one. <laughs> oh no! Well, it Wait, hang on. Is this this is the full one? Let's do this one. Well, I need a spoon to um. January 20th. This is from 2000. This is older than a, than 10 years. This is well over 10 years at this point. This is almost 11 years. This video is nearly 11 years old. I mean, this video isn't, but this was the recording is nearly 11 years old. What do the comments have to say? The line between Masao being willfully stupid in a misguided attempt to be funny and Masao being legitimately insane is an illusion. Pot's on fire. Better turn the TV off. Grease fire! Quick, turn off the TV. I love Maceo. I hope he's doing okay. Thanks, Obama! Well, our boy's still making poutine. And by the way, his recipe for poutine involves water, tuna, and fries. That's what poutine is, according to this man's. Oh, and chicken broth, because apparently he needed to make the gravy after all. Um, but yeah, o omelet for Obama. Whoa, what the fuck? Well, it's now January the 20th of 2009. Like within the ten, the first 10 seconds, we've got a massive pot fire. And uh, you can hear CNN on the background. Uh, today is the coronation of uh, the new American president, uh, you know, which is kind of weird. It's like Mussolini giving his place to Stalin or something. But anyway, uh, you know, they talk about it in all the newspapers. 
had this in the subway this morning, the Metro newspaper, oh, the day one of the Obama era. Everybody was reading that. You know, no one was reading the paper and the newspapers usually, but, uh, you know, when you are uh, uh, taking the subway, you know, people take the, the newspapers and, you know, they don't uh, really read it, but uh, this morning everybody was reading this. Anyway, uh, so let's celebrate uh, the coming of the communist dictatorship by making an omelet. Uh, oh, he's French-Canadian, well, this makes sense. Pot right. to, uh, I, I didn't say that, the chat said that. Which I've been cleaning. I'm not going to say I disagree. Even. Um, all right, so eggs. I have some eggs here. Ah. All right, eggs and um, oil. Now, uh, we need a pot to whisk at the eggs. The best way to, uh, so to make an omelet, cooking. a really healthy omelet, is um, to use uh, one full egg and, and two egg whites. Because uh, an, an egg white is... Um, He's just got bags of garbage on the ground. I don't know why I'm surprised by this, but like, well, I just... A very uh, low How hard is it to just buy a shelf? Protein, so it's really healthy stuff. Wait a minute. Tie this up. Okay, it's clean enough. Mm, um, eggs. Is that egg supposed to be pink? Need to buy new ones. Okay, so we're gonna, we're what do we think, chat? Are the eggs, here, like, spoiled? Sure. Are we under the impression that the eggs are no longer good? So I don't think they're good anymore. There, so what even to... is in this pan? Um, you know, cooking a omelet is the same as cooking a, a steak. You know, you, you need some, uh, what is it? a little bit of oil. No, you I don't. Leave oil. Maybe a little bit, a tiny bit, so but not as much oil. as you're about to add. Um, to in the pot. Musical performance. Mr. Itzhak Perlman, violinist. Anthony McGill, clarinetist. Oh man, Yo -yo I cannot Mark wait to get copyright struck for this dude's fucking TV in the background. Okay. Performing air and simple gifts. A composition arranged for this occasion by John. I like how he's got this like decent kind of oil too. It almost looks like a nice. It's not like a super high quality oil, but it's like a nice quality. It's not like No Name or whatever. It's it's just such a weird. Like contrast to everything else that's happening. All right, so you can hear on the television in the background that uh, they're making this whole uh, ceremony, and uh, you know it's in the same place that 200 years from now, you know, it's going to be over. Cooking on what is the same as cooking a steak? And Where did you find this? And everything, and people shooting around and stuff, but they don't know it yet. All right, so first we need is one uh, egg. Uh, Full egg. Wait a minute. Wow, uh, I can't believe he fucked up, like, breaking the egg. I, I'm amazed. I really thought he had this one in the bag. I, I'm so shocked that he couldn't break an egg, effectively. You know, it's really tough to do this with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera in my mouth. He's putting the camera in his mouth! Okay, I got one full egg, now I need two what? egg whites. Or are we done with um, the camera in the mouth? Okay. To, uh... He doesn't even have this half in the bag. Fuck my waist. So, uh, in order to whisk the egg whites, it's important that, that you have some, uh... Air, He's just know, gonna that, leave the shell yeah, in there, I think, in yes. In order to really whisk them well, uh, I can use, uh, Why there. would we expect anything less? Uh, it's best if you clean, uh, the pot really well before, uh, whisking the egg whites, or else it's not, it's not gonna come right. Because, uh... Because there's gonna be a bunch of fucking dirty shit from other food in there. How often do you think this guy does just cook stuff in the same, like, pan or whatever? 
like un- uncleaned from what he did before, like some other thing that he made. Like, oh, I made grilled cheese five hours ago. Might as well just use the same pan. I don't know. Um, honestly, that's probably the least of his problems. You gotta take off all the protein, you know? Uh, if, you know, the uh, egg gel or even, uh, you know, has a, a little bit of, you know, if it touches uh, the egg white just a little bit, you're not gonna be able to whisk them, so. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta clean it up. Yeah, it's like getting dust on a hard. Uh, it's like getting dust on a hard hard drive. It just ruins it instantly. Oh well, yeah, you can uh, preheat uh, the oven. Uh, not the oven. The, uh... So I hate to be like the doxer of bad news or whatever, but do we know what this guy looks like? Cause I'm very curious. I know we saw him in the gas mask, but I, I'm I'm sorry to say this, but I got I gotta know like the race, the height, the general like being. I I just I I need to know this. I'm very confused about this. I I can't. Cause it's like this guy's Canadian. Anybody that I know could be this guy. This could be anybody you know. Apparently he's a lawyer and he just lives like this and it's just fine. Pot, wait a minute. No face reveal. All right. Oh, damn. Have this here. So we're gonna use this to whisk the egg whites. Oh, well, I guess. You always need to mix a little bit of water. How is this so well, wretched I yet so to beautiful? Do it properly yet. Probably the it, classical you, you music in the background. You need a lot of practice in order to do it properly, but really elevates I read the exposure. I read up on the technique and all. I rather so elevates first you need the to material. clean the little things here because uh, there's still some some of the really weird like gooey stuff in there. High class. Music. So you, you have to take it away completely, or else it's not going to come right. You know, so they have to be really. Free of uh, all the the gooey stuff. All free of the gooey stuff. Yes. Okay. What are we doing with the shell? Uh. What, what are you doing with the shell? Do this. I don't know. Wait a minute. Make sure you really like put your finger in and. You trying and to get the egg white out? It, a little bit like this, you see? Like that, so that the water really takes away all the goo. Well, why does it matter? Um, Alright. Are you cooking with the shells? Is this what's about to happen? Why, why does it matter if the shells are clean? Why is the only thing this man has ever cleaned in his life the fucking eggshells? What the fuck? A little bit of water or else it's not going to come. No, the, the thing is that when you whisk it well enough, uh, the, the hard part of, of the egg whites is supposed to become uh, softer. So it, it's really tough because it doesn't always work. Uh, Okay, so oh, I need guys, to this video is making me feel like a static right now. The, uh, Just egg exception. This is a hate crime. The back in the fridge. This is a hate crime against humanity. <laughs> okay, uh, got this little machine here. In the meantime, uh, the stuff is heating, so when we put the the, the omelette, it's gonna be ready. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna have to whisk uh, this stuff. Okay. Uh, this is a machine is made to whisk uh, the egg whites. Okay. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why are you using the shells? Guys, he's actually cooking with the fucking shells. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is he doing? This has to be a joke. It just has to be a joke. I cannot exist in this world and think that not only is this guy not a joke, but he's also somehow not killed himself. You know what I mean? Like, not intentionally, but like just through sheer in like incompetence. I, I, I operated on a on a wavelength that said that the fucking, like, that said that Darwinism was a thing, and people who are too stupid usually just, like, die of, be, of being too stupid. 
But somehow this guy's just making it. He's just getting by on, like, cooked eggshells. With the shells. Oh. Yes. Oh. This man defends your law cases. Two bucks from Rooted Onion. Quebec law intensifies. A meal truly worthy of a president. Or maybe Obama. He's 100% a joke. I refuse to believe he's not. I don't know. We're going to be looking at his, like, stories that he's written soon. And I don't know if the, the, the facade of him being just, like, a, a ha-ha epic meme is going to continue. Because I think he might actually be a little bit fucked up. He thinks the shell is the egg whites. Yes, you're right. Sorry, I dropped it. This is egg genocide. It's not working. You see, uh, I might have to turn this vi this this stream what, into a video, guys. You see the, the, uh, this is some shit. The hard part of the egg white, okay? It, it's supposed to become like soft, you see. So you have this little. See this part? It's it's soft. It it became soft because. Now, where's it? But the whole thing is that the the problem is that not the whole thing becomes soft. It's, it's only an egg shell. Of course, it's not gonna get soft. It, you know, it's supposed to. The whole thing is supposed to become you know soft. You see, you got a little bit of soft here, and then but there's a hard part is still attached. So you, you gotta. Yeah, because part of it is the actual egg white, and then the other part of it is a fucking shell. Better. I'm not sure exactly how to do it. I heard that if you put some lemon, you know, round. It's going to like acidify the stuff, he but the ideally are it, it should become like melt. a cream or something, you know. So, all right, let's put this stuff back in. Twenty DKK from Jim right. Hansen. Do y'all so eat your burger with or without the peel? Prepare the mixture while the stuff. I don't stuff know, is dude. Usually, I like my burgers boneless. Well, that's um, all I have to say. I like boneless eggs. Gonna thank gonna you. Put this stuff back here. Okay. I wonder if I can... Hang on a second. I want to see if I can do something real quick. I want to see if I can set up like a... Yeah. A card thing. Here. Is Maceo a real boy? Uh, fake hedgehog around here. Or... A real boy. It's really him, boys. Fuck you with your two characters over limit. Okay. Is Maceo a real boy? So your options are pretty much either yes or no. But I made them look stupid um, and be different. Yeah, get your get your votes in, everybody. What do you think? Is he real? Is is this is this for real? Is this serious? I guess the I guess it's gonna change. Like we're gonna our 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 perception is going to change soon when we look at his like other channel and his site and he has like books or whatever, and they're very clearly insane. But I mean, maybe he's like both. Maybe he's crazy and trolling. I don't know. Oh, Sorry for the I, I need a spoon to um Whoa, what the fuck? Holy shit. What in the world is this? Oh wait a minute. The poll is like a YouTube card thing, by the way, it should be on the top. Wait, I'm gonna shut the TV off now. <laughs> Yeah, the first instinct should be to turn off the TV when your house is burning down. I mean, I guess for him, it's a pretty common fucking occurrence. So, you know, you don't need to, like, what bend your whole life out. How did he burn eggs? How did he even do this? Like, I have to go back okay. now. How the fuck did he burn eggs? This is like that one clip from Simpsons where Homer's trying to make a salad and it fucking burns... Oh no, it's a bowl of cornflakes. He pour he pours cornflakes and milk into a bowl and it just sets on fire. Welcome to Mas welcome to fucking Maceo. Oh, I, oh, I need a spoon 
to, uh... What is that? Whoa, what the fuck? What even is in there? It's just started fucking burning. I think that's the disgusting, uncleaned pot that he was using before. Holy shit. What is even in there? So he turns off the TV. Holy shit. Ah. Okay, well, he's a light-skinned individual, so oh, this... I know that much. Oh. How do you do this? Oh shit, we're going outside. Whoa. Okay, guys, we're, we're making snow today. Uh, it's just like being in a spaceship. Drinking black, man. Holy shit. Whoa. He's still recording. You gotta keep that shit on, dude. What, what the fuck? Shit, ah, oh, man, I fucking this burned is the oil. my finger. Oh, man. Ah. So he just started like a giant fucking fire by burning oil? Is that what happened? What the fuck just happened? Oh shit. How is this not like expected for you, uh, bro? Well hey, at least we're gonna have some sure. fucking snow for dinner. Oh fuck, this spot is ruined, I need a new one. Oh my god! Look at the bathtub! Oh my god! Does this guy even fucking clean himself? Does he wash? Does he rinse? What what's going on there? What is going on there? We're gonna Holy shit. I love the noises that he makes when he's doing this. All the just like, oh, oh. That's great. That's great. Oh. Damn, I really burned my fingers. Look at this. Oh, boy. Good job, dude. Good job, dude. Good Shit. Job. Um, uh, well, the omelette is... Mm -hmm. I dropped my... What about the omelette? There. Holy fuck. Was that... Did he just... I dropped my... Did he just put his fucking utensils in a toaster? Oh, my God! This has got to be a fucking joke. This... Come on now. Okay. All right. This has to be it. In there. Holy fuck. This has to be it. Um, we're gonna watch. We're going to find out after this. Yeah, that smoke's killing me. Oh, it's the omelet is almost done, everybody. This is truly an omelet fit for an American presidency. Um, Although this guy is also Canadian, so I guess I. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Um. Uh, Pay attention to these things down here. These, like, brown spots. Are they moving? Ah, shit. I'm pretty sure one of those was moving. I think it's a fucking maggot or something that's just crawling around on his fucking stove. Uh. Uh. Ah. I'm gonna open the window sometime. Or... Wait a sec. Uh. Fuck. Oh man, my throat is burning. Ah, I inhaled it's it's just burning. What the ah, shit. The Obama oh, differs what from your hell? typical omelet, so be careful of the additional the steps and ingredients. How the fuck did this happen? It's just it's just fucking oil, man. Oh. Yeah, it's just fucking oil! It burns! Oh, boy. Shithead! Not a bully stream. Ah, wait a minute. Okay, fuck that. Look. Uh, basically, mm -hmm. when you have the omelette done, uh -huh. you have the pot and some oil in there, and you preheat it, and then you drop the omelette in, and that's it, okay? So, look, I, I'm gonna have to shut this down now, because... Oh. Thank you for the wonderful tutorial. Uh, Maceo, hoarders, man. Um, yes. So that, that was the eggshell omelette, 
everybody. Uh, very exciting. Uh, I want to take a look at his other channel now, uh, which I've mentioned a few times. As we approach two hours of stream. He's got... He's still uploading videos. According to this, he's got blonde hair, if this is to be believed. And, uh, yeah, still uploading. At least as of a couple months ago. You can see him leaving his fucking hat, like, outside. Wow. Uh, let's, let's try this one. This is from October. Oh, I'm in the car wash. Wait. I just stopped this thing. Uh... Yeah, that's kind of scary. Wait. I got to get the... Um, he has a car. Uh, I, I think we have to come to terms with the fact that this man chooses to live like this. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking we have to come to terms... This man chooses to live like this. Apparently he's a lawyer. And he has a car, and he goes outside, and he's... He's not actually Harry S. Plinkett. But, uh... Well, uh, I, okay, I... Hmm. Anti-rust treatment today. Imagine this is the guy whose house you go back to on Tinder. Like, before I go and then... It all, look, it all looks fine, and then you get back home. I miss those places that have, like, these kind of weird orange thingies that kind of, like, turn around, like... Like big brushes or something like this place. It just. Did someone in the chat just call somebody else Milady? Am I seeing this correctly? Wow, dude. It just like blows. I hope I hope that was a joke. Holy shit! Sorry, I don't mean to call out chat members, but uh. Wow, his car is just like it too. Oh god! Look at the car. Oh, hey, look God. At the ah. It must be like, you know what it is? It must be like the Sveriga guy who who's like... Like, if you just started eating, like, a raw chicken, you'd probably die of salmonella. But he's able to do it because he's just, like, been eating fucking raw food, raw meat for, like, most of his life. So he's just built up a tolerance or something. And so this guy, similarly is still somehow alive because he's just been so disgusting for so long that his body has just adapted to it. Also, this is how I feel right now. <gasps> Mr. Happy. That's definitely not how I feel right now. kind of cute. Or something, I guess. Uh, yeah, so my remote starter doesn't work either for some reason. Like this thingy that I had installed like it used to work but now it, it doesn't and uh, at some point um, I, I had to change the car battery and as soon as I changed the battery the the remote starter stopped working I think it got like uh, deprogrammed or something and I googled mm -hmm. like how to reprogram it and it's just way too complicated I, I, I don't know if I want to sit through all 12 minutes of this, but I just, it's very interesting that he's like got a car and he's outside. Let's go past the, he's in a car wash too. He is getting this car cleaned. This car is being washed right now. Like that's easy to forget, but this car is actually the cleanest thing that he has. Too, in case the, the cops come in here. Ah. The cops come in. Why would the, why would they be coming into your car, dude? Okay. Let's jump ahead here. Let's... Hell yeah, Canadian Tire. Mm -hmm. 7.33, so the appointment is at 8 in the morning, which I really hate. He's an appointment. Anyway, he has a life. There's some guy over there, so I'm going to put a camera down or else he's going to get... Uh, now we're walking with him out of the car. Might not be able to do anything about the starter since they're not the ones who installed it. He's but... just out in the world being a human being. How, how about that? How about that shit? Good 
delivery only. I wonder what happens if you go in there and then get arrested or something. Hey, what's this guy doing over there? That's delivery only, dude. Oh yeah, well, whatever. Just gonna throw some fucking eggshells before he gets arrested. Well, the cops are gonna be too busy searching your car, apparently, according to you. Um, yeah, so he's just like out and about, really? doing some things in the neighborhood before going back to his disgusting, fucking vile, vomit-inducing apartment. Ah, uh, see, there's nobody, no cars in there. Nah. I'll just come back later. Alright, so car problems in the morning, gotcha. Um, so, creamy mushroom soup from two months ago. So he's just got also cooking on this channel. Cleaning the oven? Oh, this is a good way of starting things. You got like just various hairs. It's great. Got some gum over here. Looks like a dead mouse right there. In this is little thingy there. The white strip. It's because when I made the floor, I didn't know like uh, how to push the tiles together correctly. Uh, so it was like, see like this here, I had like black, like empty spaces between the tiles so I, I filled it up with uh, oh, I'm amazed wait a minute with uh, there. one of these uh, what the hell oh. Ouch. with this thingy there see so that the floor is uh, let's just say poly fella kind of don't be uh, dropping any soft day yeah, fella bombs yeah, in this, this, this uh, stream uh, pizza because uh, I was hungry by the way somebody was very very upset with me yesterday when I was playing Shadow the Hedgehog because apparently people in the chat were saying racist things, and I guess I wasn't looking at the fucking chat because I was busy playing a game, and they sent me like six paragraphs asking me, Is your platform only okay for white people? And I just wanted to be like, Bitch, I was playing a game. Go away. Um, so, and it says... Uh, just a random hey, aside. Uh, uh, yeah. The preheat to the oven to... Is it four hundred and eighty-five? Yeah. So we're built. We're making degrees. And my camera needs glasses. I think. Uh, so, yeah. The problem is that yeah, this is the oven. It's kind of like preheating, but it's just smelling really, really bad. See, like, oh god, this. There's still because what happens? I use this soapy thingy there, like this thing. Soapy thingy. Uh -huh. And uh, it's just that. Uh, I think I put too much, and the uh, shit, it's smelling really like soap. Wait a minute. So this uh, is why he never cleans, because it's, because he, like, f he fucking burned his oven and made, like, the soap burn, too. That's great. Uh, it's like, I, oh, God, I can't use any more soap again. It's going to burn things down. I need some water or something. Wait, let me use this thingy. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh... Because I, I put a lot of soap to clean up with, like, uh, aluminum things, but, um, the problem is that, the uh, wait, uh, I, I tried to remove all the soap, but it was hard. Wait. Oh, that's how you do it, sure. I, wow. Because the problem is that God, I it's reacting the, like fucking acid. The pizza in, all this... Soap smoke is going to rise up. Keep it rise up. Okay, let's just let this water. Yeah, there was a part in Rise of the Skywalker where Palpatine was like, Rise up and rule the galaxy! Or something, and I was just like waiting for somebody in the theater to say, Gamers, rise up. But they didn't, and I was alone and a loser, so I couldn't say it. So uh, that was a bit of a missed opportunity, honestly. Operate there for a sec. I don't know, um. Wait a minute. Um, Starting to worry for safety. There's gotta be a way to. Cause if. Bro, why are you trying to clean it when it's on? <laughs> Ouch! This thing is hot. Yeah, throw water um, yeah, in the no, hot electric stove. To, uh, You're right. I didn't even catch that. Uh, remove the soap. Cause I have to get it wet. Mm -hmm. uh, to wipe it off, but. Um, 
shit. I, I don't know. And that thing is. Wait a minute. I think something's broken. What the hell? Oh shit. This thing is hot. What the hell's going on here? Uh. I feel like. Wow! Wait. Wow, that's like instant! Not as done yet. Uh. Fire, bad. Why is it not touching the bottom? What happened to the sound? Uh. So he's cleaning the oven. Let's just leave it on. No, turn it off and clean it. I guess. Um, uh, wait a bit. Huh? If I can just put some toilet paper on the tip there. What are we doing? Toilet paper? Uh, maybe I can wipe. Uh, oh my god. I got a bad feeling about this. Turn it off uh, then! Yeah, maybe I should. Ouch. Uh, what the toilet paper will do? Why is there a bag of chips in the sink? Why is there a bag of chips in the sink? It's not gonna catch fire. Uh, what things don't catch fire, I mean, usually. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Uh, ouch. Hashtag turn the bitch I feel off. like I'm draining the swamp here. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, ouch! Doesn't so everyone easy. like sink chips? Ah, god damn it, now it's breaking apart. Okay, let me just remove that thing. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh my god, don't put your tissues and your fucking wood okay. thing next Something to the on oven! The turned on oven! Is he trying to, to like, cook? Uh, is he trying to cook the fucking heat? Like, is he trying okay. to cook the dirt away? Is that what's happening? No, let's think about this logically. Uh, there has to be some kind of a solution. Uh -huh. there Maybe turning off the of oven. Let's think about this logically as we stare into this still-on oven that I'm trying to clean with wood and tissues. This is wonderful. Uh, uh, I keeps fucking up with his microphone. Unless that's my headphones. Hmm. Alright, well that's him attempting to burn down his house by cleaning the oven. Chicken and oranges. Alright, well, he's got more videos here. We might look at another one of his videos, but before anything else, I want to go to his website. Maseo's website. Visit my YouTube channel. Uh, sign my guest book, my blog. Hang on, we might not be able to look at the blog. This might be some, like, some, like, hardcore smutty shit. Hang on. Um, back to the bear here for a sec. And let's, uh, read up on the Super Chats also. Um, two bucks from Rooted Onion, Quebecois Intensifies. I did read that before. Uh, and Jeanette Hansen with 20DKK. Do y'all eat your burger with or without the peel? I read that one too. And, uh, the, the answer is you need to core your burgers. You need to buy a burger core. It's important. They sell them at the Trader Joe's. And, uh, two, two bucks from Chisato Oberon. This man is so stressful. He really is. Any, it's an accident could happen at any moment during any interaction. The most basic of shit, there could just be an accident happen. It's, it's wonderful. Um, I, I love him. Um, let's let's take a look here. We're on his blog. I don't see any lewd shit on the blog, and there's not that much to the blog. Um, no, not steam. God damn it. Masao's rambling thoughts. Um, from 2019, October 4th. I don't know anymore. Couldn't find the password, but looks like I was able to log in. Funny now, funny how no matter what you do on the internet, someone's trying to sell you something? Anyway, busy working. Imagine trying to do important work while this guy is staring at you. This poor little dog, everybody. This fucking poor little dog who has to, like, live in this man's world. This poor, tiny creature who is just subjected to this man. 
I'm not even trying to bully the guy. I'm not even saying like, oh, fuck him. He's a bad person or anything. That's not even it. I'm just saying this man is a danger to himself and others, as we have fucking proved in multiple videos where he starts a fucking fire. He should not be allowed to have a pet. He just shouldn't be. This poor fucking dog. Oh, my God. Or worse, try, try eating a sandwich while he's anywhere nearby. I don't think your dog wants the food that you make, dude. Bartender, 2011. So we went from 2019 to 2011? What the fuck? What happened? He's got three comments here, though, on the new one. Good to see you're still around, man. Je commence à... I don't know how to speak French. Fuck you. Thanks for the update. Looking forward to some more cooking vids. Finally, after all these years, our main man has returned. Good to hear from you again, Maceo. Yeah, I don't know if you want to, like, it's fine to be friendly with the guy. He seems like he's, like, well-meaning enough. He doesn't seem like he's a bad person or anything. It's just that I don't know if you want to, like, encourage this. Apparently, I have a skill for bartending. Maybe one day I'll open my own bar. I'll have a bit of an exotic menu, though. Yeah, like peach and fucking hot dog smoothie. A skill for bartending. Where where did that come from? Maceo MIA. The last couple months have been a bit nuts for me, so sorry for lack of, well, everything. I've been caught in the middle of a turf war of peacocks working on a CBA, and it's lights out for not long enough while the big suits get to do the fun part of the thing. Any, Anyway, do you know that in Japan, people knock on public bathroom stalls to see if it's occupied instead of trying to open it? Well, this Japanese guy went into the U.S. and knocked on a bathroom stall, and the guy instead said, Come in. True story. Anyway, we had a pretty bad election here. I didn't vote because Erwin Kotler was supposed to win with 90% of the votes, so it was useless. But yeah, it got tougher. Now we have five representatives in a majority government. Looks like Quebec's going to have some real influence in Ottawa now. Just kidding. It's Western Canada's turn to get all the federal goodies. Yeah, I live in uh, B.C. No, no. Well, we're we're kind of fucked too. Um, federal goodies. Oh man. Anyway, Izanami and Izanagi had some pretty weird sex. What? Who? God, this is so obviously fucking crazy, though. Izanami. What is this? It's like some fucking like myth, a creation myth. All right. I hate being busy, but at the same time, I don't hate it. It's funny. The more things I have to do during the day and the more I'm stressed out about work and obligations, the better I sleep and the more rested I am. On the other hand, when I have too much free time, I'm constantly tired and have no energy. Laziness is a vicious circle. That's why people who work all day can't understand lazy people. The more you work, the easier it is to keep working and have your life in order. That's why parents should make their kids work and not make them grow up on free stuff. I actually agree with this. Because I'm, I'm like, lazy to a fault now, and it's probably because I, I'm just like that. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's too late for me to fix myself. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. Uh, it's probably nature's way of performing a natural selection and eliminating people who become hurdles. But just be... Yeah, bro, listen, we don't... We, you, you, of all men's right now, does not do not need to be talking about uh, natural selection and eliminating people who become hurdles. Just because you're a victim of natural selection doesn't mean you can't appeal that decision. When I'm busy, I wish I wasn't. When I'm not busy, I wish I was. When it's summer, I wish it was winter. When it's winter, I wish it was summer. When I'm with friends, I wish I was alone. And so on. That's probably our brain's way of leading to the leading us to the just middle of things. The funny thing is he types, like, pretty well. One would assume this guy also speaks French, probably either natively or bilingually. And he, he, t he types in English pretty well. I mean, there's some probably some errors here, but I mean, it's, mo it's mostly fucking coherent, at least. Some people are weird. I see them every day. They're dressed funny. Either they've got weird haircuts or strange rings, tattoos on their face, baggy pants down to their knees so you can see their underwear, hats on backwards, whatever. They talk in strange languages and go through unhealthy... Uh, efforts to look cool and badass and in conversation it's like talking to someone rehearsing a comedy routine yo 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 making little noises flashing okay so our boy doesn't uh mm, that's mm, those are some those are some spicy opinions for 2010 uh that you can't can't really say anymore um i've gotten messages telling me i'm scary i'm not trying to scare people ha 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 
I had to be my own surrogate parent, so obviously I turned out a bit weird. Trying to hide that weirdness killed me. I find that people like me uh, better if they... S- I find that people like me better if they see the real me instead of me trying so hard to act normal. I'm not trying anymore. Screw it. And if you find me scary, you must think Eeyore is scary with a nail... With a tail nailed in his coccyx. I love you, Eeyore. Why are you talking about Eeyore? What does that have to do with anything? Not sure how this is supposed to work out. I'll just post some random stuff here every once in a while. By the way, I think Wendy is kind of cute. Ah, uh, isn't Wendy five? Isn't Wendy like the tiny daughter of... Oh, no. Uh, this is one of your best decisions yet. Flexing my dick muscle says, what do you think all human actions are comprised of? Does it lean more towards memory or natural instincts? Perhaps something more complicated. I'd like you, I'd like you some of your insight on this. Yeah, I have some thoughts on this, but it might take a longer post to explain. From 2010. Where's, where's the thoughts? I want the, I want the thoughts. Um, the mind of Masao. Have you seen the commercial with real life Wendy? After watching that commercial, I think the real Wendy, I think the real Wendy eats too much at Wendy's. Um, so he grew up in Japan for a while. So this this guy is a very interesting individual who's apparently lived his life and is like a self-sufficient adult human being who somehow just starts fires every day in his house. Or maybe it's a joke, but I don't see how it can be a joke. He's been going for like 11 years at least or more. Uh, let's take a look at some of his short stories, such as Dances with the Democrats. This sounds good. This sounds very good. Um, Dances with the Democrats. A short story by Maceo. Um, Act one. I walk out of the bedroom. I'm sorry. I walk out of the bathroom after my shower and trudge along the hallway toward my room. Shroop, shroop. It's a good feeling, walking in the dry carpet with wet feet. I feel them drying more and more with each new step. Dinky. Gulp. It's my sister's voice. She's peeking at me through her bedroom door. Dinky, can you help me with my homework? I take a deep breath. Dinky? I take a deep breath and walk to her room, holding the towel around my waist. Be- Uh-oh. Where are we going with this one? I've seen a few fucking stories that have started this way. Not that I was looking for them. Uh, Holding the towel around my waist because it's too small to tie with a knot. My sister, Kiki. Oh, now I'm just imagining Milton T. Pike. Is a cute little piggy-tailed redhead with freck. So it's Wendy? It's Wendy. Uh, uh, I don't know about this. I don't know where this is going. Oh my god, what is happening here? Uh Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is exactly where I thought it was going. Dinky, my homework. It's about male anatomy. I've never seen a man naked. Oh, he was fucking asleep. He was just having a fucking wincest fantasy with Wendy's girl. I jump out of my bed to grab my alarm clock and punch it as hard as I can until the noise stops. It was set at exactly 8 a.m. because this morning my parents... Wow, this is a long story. Shit. I thought this was a short story. Um, My parents will take me to a carnival. Phew, what a nightmare. Why do these things always happen to me? If I'd set it at 8.30, we would still have time to... No, I didn't just think that. My name is Dinky. I'm a college student in Maryland. Two years ago, I was injured in a car accident and lost all my memory. Perhaps that's why I feel so confused about my sister. I can't remember growing up with her at all. I grab a box of baby wipes and kick my computer out of sleep. What? Oh, you're you're fat. Uh, I found an amazing porn website recently with naked drawings of cartoon characters. It took me a long time to find one that had drawings of Wendy. Whenever my family takes me to eat at Wendy's, I have to walk like a constipated Donald Duck to hide my erection. Uh, I thought it would change once I saw the girl naked, but it's actually gotten worse. It's cruel to have the drawing of such a cute girl plastered all over the place. This girl was a child! I just hope my dad doesn't realize there's an extra charge on his credit card. I finish masturbating and walk out of the room. Very bad! Very, very bad! I hear an unusual sound as I slog through the the hallway toward the stairs, my arms hanging freely on my sides. Flowing water, I raise my head. That noise, it's the shower. My heart skips a beat. The the door is... What does this have to do with Democrats? The door isn't closed uh, all the way, so I can take a slight peek inside. 
I can sort of discern a silhouette behind the curtains. It's my sister. No, I can't do this. I run down the stairs in a panic. If someone finds out that I... No, no, I don't feel anything. No, she's my sister. That's all. Nothing more. So our boy who fucking... Whoa. Oh, boy. <laughs> the chat's loving this one. This is a lawyer. <laughs> oh, my God. This reading, 10 out of 10. Thank you. He's in love with Wendy. Not remembering growing up with your sister is not an incest excuse. Uh, this is not okay. No it's frowny face. This is deaf an anime plot. Inside the mind of a desperate loser, Chris Hansen walks in, offering you a seat. I feel like this would be on f on Wattpad or a fanfic website. It's a real life fanfic website. Uh, you know exactly where it's going. <laughs> Too hot for Milton. <laughs> Um, okay, so my dad gives me a harsh stare from the kitchen table. I shiver. It's as if he knew. You knew? But he can't. No way. My hands are in front of my pants, and I'm walking from a three-quarters angle. He can't see it. It's an awkward silence as I eat opposite him. I hope he doesn't beat me up. Oh, shit. I have to fall. I mean, I hope he doesn't beat you up, too, dude, but, like, oh, God. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Um I I hope he doesn't beat you up too, dude, but honestly, I'm going to say I uh, I feel like if there was ever a, a, a t an opportunity for a father to beat his child and uh and be justified, this is probably this character, not you. I promise I'm not talking about you, but this character might be it. Um hey, you guys started eating without me. Hissed a su seductive voice. With a touch of irony, I turn my head. It's Kiki, my cute little redhead sister. She's wearing such a tank top, such a tight tank top, that the shape of her 34D boobs is almost completely visible. I look away. Damn, I'm gonna die. Hey, Dinky, why are you looking away? He's been trying to hide his erection again, my mom shouts from across the kitchen. You'd never believe the stuff I found while reading his diary. Oh, that's no good. We have to take care of it. Show me, show me. It's not like that, I scream on the verge of tears. My God, I'm going to cry. I hope my mom was joking. If they ever find out the truth. I take a fleeting look at the people in flamboyant carnival clothes, dancing and singing all around me as I sit from a cup of coffee. A group of young girls in blue robes. I don't like all the young girls in this story, mate. I don't, I don't know about this. A group of young girls in blue robes are playing ukuleles near a tent. Further down, a bunch of couples are lining up in front of the mobile toilets. How boring. Hiding behind a tree, I turn my attention to the restaurant truck's entrance. Just a few more seconds. There, there. Come on. Yes, finally. My, I don't like where this is going. Well, what could it be that he's so excited about? My parents are in. Now that I got separated from my parents and sister, I don't have anyone looking at me. All right, this is it. Time for me to get a girlfriend. I can't, oh, yeah, okay. Just do that then, forehead. Just, just get a girlfriend, bro. I can't keep sneaking out at night and humping the Wendy's restaurant sign with sharp metal edges. I still have scars on my crotch. It appears young girls love carnivals. <sighs> there are so many of them dancing around in short skirts. I pick up some flowers from the hedge and, oh god, there's a tall, flat-chested girl with bunny ears eating an ice cream near a Coke machine. There's another one dark-skinned with blonde hair. Hmm, many of them are cute, but... I want better. I need better. Um, oh no. The target is located, says a man in a dark suit on a walkie-talkie. Please confirm. North-northwest from position D near the merry-go-round. 10-4, target located, holding flowers in his left hand. Where is the contact? She should be making her appearance soon. The White House has confirmed her carnival costume will be a blue dress without a bra to allow her nipples to protrude. Contact in sight. Standing by for orders. So these guys know that our our main character here is a fucking creepy sex weirdo. All right. I feel a sudden shortness of breath. She's there. The woman of my dreams. Right around the corner near a brick garden bed. Her steps reflect a natural seductiveness that is normally only acquired after 30 years in strip clubs. She's got the right height, with shapely breasts barely hidden by her tight blue robe. I walk toward her, pacing my breath. I want that girl. I'm going to give her the flowers and introduce myself to her. Yes. Yes, that's the perfect plan. 
Flowers remind girls of the shape of their vaginas. That's why they always fall in love with guys who give them nice pink flowers. As I get closer to her, I notice that she looks a lot like my sister. Oh, of course. This is turning into fucking neutral milk hotel, but without any of the talent. Uh, she has a ponytail instead of piggy tails. I don't like the term piggy tails. I really don't like this. But the hair color and facial features are almost identical. This is a dream come true. Yes, yes. Excuse me, my dear, I say. The girl stops walking and raises her eyes toward me. Yes. So I was looking at you, and I noticed that I feel a sharp pain in the back of my head as I collapse to the floor. I barely have the time to turn a female uh, to hear a female voice screaming in agony before everything turns black. Uh... I slowly open my eyes, wincing in pain. I felt like this before after I spent all night drinking Sambuca while browsing through naked drawings of Wendy. Coming to my senses, I find my arms and legs tied to a metal contraption that looks like something straight out of a David Parker Ray's garage. A breathing mask is stuck on my face. Oh, so that explains the gas mask. And I'm locked in a strange glass case filled with a brownish gooey liquid. An unpleasant taste of human meat fills my throat. Oh, just like those girls. Um, I feel a faint scream as two silhouettes emerge in front of me. They seem to be punching buttons on some kind of machine. Grab him! Um, assailants in lab coats. So he kills the two dudes. Right. So this is... Oh, Jesus. Uh oh, this is getting political, everybody. Calculating atmospheric pressure, processing, male humanoid, DNA reformation stage 21, incestual brainwave patterns confirmed, potential Democrat voter class C3, access granted, supervisor alerted. Welcome to Obama's America. Dozens of metal bolts jump off the hinges, and the door opens into another similar hallway. Blah, blah, blah. Um, calculating atmospheric pressure, system error, testicular tension analyzed, system error, recommend for grade 3 processing. Um, aborted fetuses. One has got his mouth moving awkwardly, desperately trying to say, Mama! Two bald children. Oh no, get them away from this fucking guy. Help me, help me, comes a faint voice. Crawl across the room. You! It's you! It's really him, boys! I shriek at one of the cages. There's no mistaking it. She looks exactly like my sister. Uh, we have to escape. Open the cage. I fickle with I fickle with the metal hatch, and I don't think that's how you. I don't think that's that's the term. The exit is that way. It's it's no good. I can't pull it. I can't pull harder. There's no time. Um. Black-suited men carrying machine guns. We're going to take you two defects to the commander, one of the men says. The girl and I are dragged through the door to another room filled with more half-human monstrosities screeching in pain. An old man in a lab coat punches, punches, building, punches buttons on a wall monitor, and a glass door opens to a small elevator. Get in, one of the men says, pushing his gun on my back. He flips a switch on the wall, and the elevator starts going up. Where are we, I ask. You'll figure it out soon enough, the girl says. It's all your fault, you know. We could have lived happily, but you... What have I done? I was going to give you flowers, and all of a sudden I wake up in this freaking spaceship. Shut up! The man yells behind me. We've arrived. President Obama? It's this way, one of the men says, opening a door to a large oval office. President Obama looks up from the stack of papers on the, his desk and glares at me and the girl. What's going on? The president asked me, why haven't you had sex with your sister yet? Let me be clear. Um, act three. I feel the president's piercing glare cut right through my soul. Vice President Biden is standing behind him, shaking his head with impatience. I'll repeat the question. Why haven't you had sex with your sister yet? Because obviously Joe Biden has already marked his territory. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Why am I here? I haven't done anything. Comrade Barack, it appears something has gone wrong during the processes, the vice president says. The president pouts and he, he nods slowly. So it would seem. Dinky, listen to me. Have you ever heard of Kooky Bookie? No. 
He was a heroic comrade who ran a democratic hospital, but was brutally murdered two years ago by a Republican implant that caused homosexuals to catch AIDS. My administration has fought for two long years to reverse the process, yet now Republicans are poised to win both the House and the Senate in the upcoming elections. Do you realize what this means? How should I know? Leave me alone! I've been trying to ask this girl out, and you guys have- The Republicans and the Blue Dog Democrats in Congress will be empowered by the elections, and they threaten to repeal the health care, reform, and filibuster all funding for abortions and incest, and incest education programs. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know why you're sexually attracted to your sister? Because when siblings have sex, their offspring are often deformed and retarded. The more people... The more such people we have, the more we can raise awareness for their situation and create new taxes for government... R wow, okay. Uh-huh. There's no other way we can remain in office. You're completely nuts. Leave us alone. I like this girl, and I want to spend the rest of my life with... You just looked at her! You just, like, looked at her for a second! It has nothing to do with the fact that she looks like my sister. Really? Because that's the only character info we have about this, this girl, is that she looks exactly like your sister. What is this? All the girls here are your sisters. This girl actually is his sister. This is so fucking bizarre. Have you ever wondered why you have no memory more than two years old? It's because you were created here two years ago. You didn't exist before that. I shake my head. It, it can't be. Please, someone tell me it isn't true. What about all those mutilated people downstairs? I'm sorry, son, the president says. We have to face the harsh economic reality. We tried to funnel money and resources to our science labs by bringing in truckloads of aborted fetuses from democratic hospitals. But the Republicans... What, democratic hospitals? If you, like, vote... If you voted for Trump, are you not allowed to get your fucking, like, legs stitched up at certain hospitals? Is, is that how America is? Um, so... It's all your fault, Dinky, my sister screams. I've been trying to seduce you all this time, and you were too fucking stupid to get the clue just because you were afraid those government agents posing as our parents would get mad at you. Why the fuck do you think I've been leaving the door open when I shower or wearing tight tank tops with no bras and putting my boobs in your face? Damn, men are so fucking stupid. I've always loved you, Kiki. Dinky, my dear. See, it wasn't so hard to say, was it? It's too... Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking drop my bong again. Awesome. It's too late for you to, the president says. Now that you know she's not your true sister, even if you have sex, it won't help the democratic cause. Well, how was it going to help before? Wait, Mr. President, you're not letting us go, right? No matter what we do. Run! So they're running. Um, Kiki got shot. Uh, he kisses her on the lips. Please call me by my real name, Wendy. I feel a sharp pain in my shoulder and my arm goes numb as a bullet passes through my body. Another bullet hits me in the stomach. Uh, Wendy, I want to see your boobs. He's about, they're both about to fucking die and he's like exposing his sister's tits. I feel light. The pain is going away. Then darkness should have voted for fucking Bob Barr. Okay, I guess this is a joke. I'm guessing this is like a joke to some extent. This seems like a shit post, but I don't know. I just don't know. I open my eyes and take a deep breath. I walk down the stairs. Jason Phi. Hmm. So he got like reincarnated as some kind of like terrorist operative man or something. All right, cool. Great story. Well, chat, what do you think? You're tearing me apart, Wendy. Well, now he know what he now we know what he thinks about. T sister, take my seed before I die. This is the foulest thing I've witnessed today. I want to see your boobs. I'm dying, Wendy. We've come full circle. Wendy, why? You're tearing me apart, Wendy. Um, is this the plot of my little sister can't be this cute or Aero Manga Sensei? I think this is the American, like, Hollywood adaptation of the, um, the, my little sister can't be this cute. I think that's what it is. Wendy, do you love me? Oh, hi, Dinky. This is, this dude is probably a victim shaming piece of garbage. Huh. Uh-huh. 
Let's see. Burn this site to the ground! Burn to the ground! Seduce you all this time. Um, please keep the stream up. Oh, this one's staying up. Don't worry. Masaoki's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Incest Civil Rights in 2025. Is he Bob's big boy? Solid Wendy's. Illuminati. Dinky Kiki. Can't wait for the next chapter when Israel gets involved. Conspiracy fanfic. What the hell? Yeah, it started out as just fucking, like... It started out as just this weirdo who wanted to bang Wendy and his sister, who looks like Wendy, and also was apparently named Wendy. And then it turned into fucking Obama and, like... I don't know, man. Government parents. Like... Go government agents pretending to be parents. We've got some more stories here. The Wrath of God. How long is this one? This is 12 pages. Oh, we got another story about the fucking sister. We got another story about the sister. What is this one? Like a doctor? Room A12, we have to hurry. My sister screams as she pours Sambuca on a sponge and rubs it over her face to hide the smell. Wait, what? What is even happening? What is even happening? We still have about a day to live. But don't worry, after tonight the counter will be reset and we won't have to worry about AIDS again. I keep telling you, even though I'm a girl, having sex with me won't remove the implant. You have to find a girl who's neither a family member nor an employee. This really does not feel like it's a joke, though. This kind of feels like this is, like, this guy's crazy writings about, like, some shit that he's thought. About, like, oh, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I don't have a girlfriend. I need to get a girlfriend because I need to remove the government implant or whatever. Um... Right, so nurses pleasuring an injured man. Uh huh. His AIDS level is at 27. Code blue. For the moral, for years, the moral tyranny of the Bush administration created a web of evil that tied to us to a preconceived reality, preventing us from achieving our dream. But now, finally, things will change. Tonight, the time of reckoning shall come, November fourth, two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. All our hopes now hang on the election of Barack Obama. Finally, we will achieve our dream, the ultimate form of human existence. Sexual pleasure exists in the union of a man and a woman. And that is because originally humans were genderless and thus spent their lives in orgasm every way. What? How does that make sense? This is why God separated them in two genders. But if we can prove that the difference between the two is an illusion, won't we be able to prove God wrong? With so much pleasure, all wars will end. This is the ultimate truth of homosexuality, the lost link of human evolution. So I guess he's saying homosexuality is a good thing then? That's nice. Bit of a weird way of framing it, but... Sorry to interrupt you, Wolf, but we have breaking news. Exit polls indicate John McCain polling slightly ahead of Obama. Um, police, there's a man with AIDS. Grab a surgical knife and stab her in the eye. What is even happening? It's like politics and this guy's killing people. Mayday, my sister shrieks. The... The patient's AIDS level has shifted to 14 in just a few moments. Candy, lock the doors! Don't let anyone out! Um, I, I don't... I don't understand. It's our Republican mom. It has to be her. She went to the voting station in Bidwell Park and is influencing voters. Fuck you, mom! Everyone stay cool. Secure the room. Bidwell Park is only a 30-minute ride on the highway from my hospital. Damn, he is obeying God. This is why the Republican red smoke was so dense. No, ma no wonder people were crashing their cars around gays and voting for McCain. Uh, wait, what? We made our way through the crowd and right under a tree find the source of the smoke. It's a naked Antonin Scalia holding a crucifix and having sex with his wife. Uh-huh. 
You devil spawn, he screams. Antonin, you won't stop me this time. It's Al Gore, the knight in shining armor. Next to him stands Hillary Clinton. Antonin Scalia shakes his head and laughs. My poor Al, it's too late. There's no way to stop this. My sex is calling forth God's presence. You cannot repel all this smoke. Huh. What do you say about this? Al Gore takes off his robe and... No, it can't be. A woman? And that veil on his head. Al Gore was Muslim woman all along. A faint blue smoke emanates from his body. No! Scalia screams as Al Gore and Hillary Clinton begin having democratic Muslim gay sex to counter the Republican Christian straight sex. The mother kills the sister. Do we not get to fuck the sister then? Tax masters. Cheers are erupt. I thought Obama was the bad guy in the other story. It can't be. The alarm is only supposed to go off when an AIDS counter reaches zero. Look, it's the patient, Scree shrieks an intern. It's because you absorbed his flexible collodion. It accelerated the AIDS. It shouldn't matter. Obama was elected. We won. This shouldn't be happening. No, no, my secretary screams. We miscalculated and had gay sex too early. Obama's not president. He's just president-elect. We still have two months to wait. Oh, my God! Mm -hmm. At this point, I feel like I'm just reading a fucking shit post. I was only able to see the first few spiders come out of my belly. When gays have sex, it makes God jealous because of how good gay sex is, and he knew, he knows he can't do it because he's going to look like a hypocrite. This hurts his self-confidence, and it makes it harder for him to approach cute chicks in heaven. Okay. Well, we've got a couple more here. I don't know, Chad. Do we want to read the other ones? Are we about done here? This writing is actually better than more fanfics I've read. Confirmed gay! It's stopping every two seconds. Man, MGS got really weird after Kojima left. Accelerated the AIDS! Uh, this is his epic fanfics. Um, Al Gore was a Muslim woman all along. I know, right? That tired old cliche. Wait, is this still Maceo? Yes! Yes, this is Maceo's website, everybody. This is his website, which we found from his side channel here, which you can see is Maceo. Definitely the same guy. Definitely the same fucking guy. Sorbets and hummus. Great. Toilet mysteries. Yeah, same guy. Just go to his, go to his about, click on this, and you can find this story about Muslim black lesbian Al Gore fucking Hillary Clinton to have democratic Muslim gay sex to defeat God. This is the same guy. Oh, we went like F for a little bit, I guess. Was that 403 to 406? We went down for like three whole minutes. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. That was like 35 minutes ago, but whatever. Um, what did we miss when I went when we went down? This guy's got to be a troll. Are gay Muslim Democrats replacing Rich Evans? God, if he's a troll, he's really dedicated. Where is Obama? I can feel myself losing brain cells. Stop reading the fanfics I made when I was twelve. Um, didn't go down for you. Did we go down? Well, it's just there's a there's a three minute block here. Where the viewers went from like 700 down to zero and then immediately back up to 700. So that was a little weird. I just assumed we went down, um, but I guess not. Uh, what, what what are we thinking, guys? Are we are we doing another story? Are we still going here? It's, it's been it's been a while, honestly. I feel like wrapping things up. Um, read scary people looking at me. Got all funky. Didn't go down for me. More stories. All right. I will go. I will do one more story. I'll do one more. Well, maybe we'll do the Prince of Darkness another time because that sounds interesting. But let's do one more story.
And it's the longest one here. All right. Well, I'm going to be skimming through this unless Act 1, Poon Tang. Okay. We're off to a good start. I'm going to be skipping through this as much as possible so that I can try to end the stream by about five my time. Um, we've been going like three hours because this fucking guy. Uh, the sun, the, Act 1, Poon Tang. The sun's light burns right through my bedroom's thin curtains, bathing me in a white, a bright white blur. Uh-huh. My teacher, glance at my alarm clock. It's seven in the morning. Uh, push the alarm button. Put my clothes on and walk out of my room. Oh, we got his fucking sister again. Listening to her vampire songs. She always dresses in black and wears strange leather clothes. She cuts herself, too. I tell you, that girl's a psycho. Just wish I could fuck her. She's the kind who writes poetry about pain and misery in her cozy little room while there's a bunch of homeless people living in the sewers and only coming out to ask for spare change. I mean, yeah. Let's not... Com I, I don't think we can really compare hurt so much. Like, some people go through shit and it doesn't matter if they've got a roof over their heads. Uh, I tiptoe toward my sister's bedroom and take a peek through the ajar door. She's got all her clothes on. I had hoped to catch a peek of her changing. So this is just an ongoing thing. We have no choice but to assume that this guy just seriously wants to fuck his sister. Because it's an on it's a theme in every single one of his stories so far. Is that he just wants to really, he really just wants to slip it into his sister. Um, it's reminding me of Naif Dude a lot. Uh, but whatever. The last time I did, her boyfriend now X, caught me red-handed and took all my money in exchange for his silence. Last I heard, he was fighting in a communist revolution somewhere in Bulgaria or Mexico or someplace like that. Or maybe it's a fascist revolution. I don't know. The guy's into those big things with weird names. I guess he's a fun guy to be around, even if he had a tendency to tie my sister up and whip her while forcing her to sing the Finnish national anthem translated in some Thai dialect. I just don't there's no way he's a troll it's just no way this is this is such a fucking troll of a story but it's at the same time very alarming because of the things that aren't like so f obviously stupid like the, uh, the undercurrent of him wanting to bang his sister is a uh, is a bit of a problem for me um but then it's written in a way where it almost seems like a fucking joke. It seems like somebody fucking writing a green text on poll about how the, the Democrats are going to turn the world into like a, a fucking abortion camps or whatever in five years. It, it, it reads like that kind of shit. Just insane off the wall nonsense. But I don't know. I, I feel like the, I, f I feel like the, the evidence is pushing strong, stronger in the direction of he's fucking crazy. Um, I hear a strange voice. It's George, her new boyfriend. My sister tells me he's a communist and that those people like locking up those who disagree with them. So I got to be careful around him. Um, peeking in your sister's room again. Bad boy. I jump. It's my dad's voice. Oh, gee, I got caught again. At least my sister's got her clothes on this time. No, no, it's not like that. Ha 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 ha. I yell, running down the stairs. My dad gives me a stern look. I swear this guy can make me shiver in fear. He's scarier than that Stalin guy we'd heard about in history class. He looks like him, too. He's got this huge mustache that hides his lips, so you have to look at his cheeks to see if he's smiling or not. He's had it for a long time, but it got gray recently because of his age. How are you today, sir? It's a fine day again, I say. My dad slaps his forehead. Michael, Michael, what are we going to do with you? You have to learn to respect other people's privacy. But I was just checking the door. I swear it's got some carbuncle on it or something. A carbuncle is a type of skin infection. Well, it's got something. I don't know. I'm going to work. Don't be late for class. With that, my dad walked out of the house. Wow, that was intense. I thought he would have scolded me. Well, whatever. Sometimes he acts a bit weird. My sister says she often does treesomes with him and her... What? Ah. Uh... So his older brother also hides his erections about his sister. Um, 
One day he told me that it's because embarrassing things are happening inside his body. I think it's because he get erections like I do when I see naked cat girls in my adult video games. Maybe he thinks of our sister as a naked cat girl. Um, so you, did you write your essay? Uh, oh my god, the mom's coming on to him? Uh... I look down in embarrassment. Why can't I ever tell people when, when it, why can't I ever tell when people are joking or when they're serious? So I always get uncomfortable when my parents talk about naughty things. I mean, I don't get shy when the cat girls in my video games talk to me, but when it's my mom, I just freak out. Maybe if my mom was a cat girl, I wouldn't have to feel this way. Or maybe I need to have a multiple answer choice on my screen as to how to respond. Um, I eat my breakfast in silence. Uh huh. Apparently, she likes tying pe. So he's in love with this girl at school. Apparently, she likes tying people up and putting all kinds of strange objects in their mouths. I heard her. I heard her previous boyfriend suffocated to death when she made him eat a hamster. I guess she could be my girlfriend if she ran out of hamsters, though. Ah, oh, you got a girlfriend now, my mom asks, apparently interested. Are her boobs as big as mine? Uh, n no, she's not my girlfriend. Um, right, act two, boomtastic. Um, but I guess no one noticed. I spent the whole time dreaming of cat girls, too. Meow. <sighs> wow. Um... My 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 dad is still working. My sister Lily and my brother Kevin said they're going to a friend's house. This is joy. I'm already thinking of my last save point in the game. What? Are we playing a video game? What? This is where one of my favorite cat girls was kidnapped by some militant extremist group trying to force the government in re into releasing some guy from prison in exchange for naughty pictures of the prime minister. What the fuck game is this? I, I walk through the door. Um. Oh, the mom's been dead. The mom's been killed. My mother's body rests in a pool of blood. Her head had been hacked off and the skin around her neck is all peeled off. Um. The killer may still be around. Why my mother? She never did anything bad to anyone. It must have been a mistake. Uh. I sit on the front porch. I have no idea how long it's been. Even my, I just want someone to make me feel safe. Even my sister's communist boyfriend. I don't care. I'll even let Karen put a hamster in my mouth. Hey, kid. Did you call 911? One of the two officers who walk out of the car asked me sternly. You're going to tell me what happened here? My mom is dead. Holy crap, I hear one of them say. Uh... My sister's boyfriend sometimes sleeps over and they have tree psalms with my dad. Your sister has sex with your father, but you said they have threesomes. Tree, not tree, not three. You've got a French accent, so you can't tell tree from three. So just as an unrelated note to any of the things in the story here, we just established that this character, who is very obviously based on Maceo, who is French-Canadian has a French accent. So we can just assume that this is definitely his self-insert and not an original like character. Uh, so you say that your father is actually having sexual relations with his daughter. Well, she said tree psalms. Um, one of them has his eyebrow raised like the bartender cat girl in the scene when she learns the boss pees in her coffee. What the fuck is going on? I can't imagine my dad and my sister doing what I do with cat girls in my adult games. This feels so wrong. How old is your sister? Well, she's 19, one year older than me. Does your mother know about this? Um, so they're locking him up. Why are they arresting him? Why are they arresting the kid? What the fuck? This is stupid. So they, they go off to the police room, I guess, the, the like, what?
come with us, Michael. We've got things to talk about. So the dad and the sister and the brother are here at the police station picking him up. Uh, wait, I can't. We've got to wait for the cops to... I am a cop. We all are. It's true, my sister Lily says. There's been a communist revolution. We're all comrades. We have a lot of power now. A communist revolution. Here? Yes, I'm sorry we couldn't tell you sooner, but it was necessary to keep you ignorant for the good of the cause. We have to do things that we don't like every once in a while. Um, I glare at my sister. You're the one who killed my mother. It couldn't have been avoided, my father says, but you have to know something. That woman was not your mother. None of us are related by blood. You've been taken from your original family at birth to serve the worldwide communist revolution. All those adult games you play on your computer are actually pieces of propaganda. You can't live without cartoon porn now, can you? Well, I... I... Just admit it. No, I can't. There you have it. Now capitalists want to censor cartoon porn because they think it's dirty and immoral. But that's ridiculous. Indeed. And what about your sister? You like looking at your sister naked, don't you? She's actually a secret government agent, hired to make you think she was your sister and seduce... Yeah, this is very obviously a crazy guy. I don't know. I, I keep jumping between it might be a joke or not. But he, he keeps putting in these stories about how his family is government's people trying to s pretend like it's like he feels ashamed about the fact that he wants to fuck his sister and his mom and so he's come up with this story in his head that they're all government agents pretending to be his family and forcing him to want to do these horrible things um you were hypnotized to think that you were only masturbating when in reality you were doing naughty things with your mother Uh-huh. So it was all a lie then. All my life. Everything I've lived for. We're sending you to Bolivia, where you'll most likely die on the battlefield. You'll never see another adult video game again. No! And then it's a, it's a dream. The night before, I killed my father, my brother, my sister, and my sister's boyfriend because they knew... Because I was afraid they knew I liked adult games. They're bloody bodies. Oh my god, what is this shit? So he ends up killing everybody else instead, it turns out. And then the mom is like, we have to train you for the battle against communism. We're sending you to Bolivia. No. Great story. Okay. Real switcheroo. Basically the ending of Star Wars Return of the Skywalker or whatever the fuck. Um, yeah, anyway, so there's one more story here. How long is it? I don't want to read another one. We're getting we're getting on in the hours here. I uh I still have to go out and buy more uh poison to you know make myself feel like I'm a human tonight. Um so yeah, I think we're going to call it quits here. We may wind up looking at this at another time though, the last story. And we might certainly look at some more of his videos at another time because oh boy. Um yeah, how many of you guys started this stream knowing that he was a fucking weird creepy like Sex weirdo, incest man, who wants to fuck his sister and his mom, apparently. Uh, how many of you guys knew that? Because I didn't know that. Uh, two, two bucks from Dillion, that picture I sent via Twitter to you. Mood right now. I don't have Twitter open, sorry. Uh, Curry Boy with two dollars and no message. Thank you. Uh, Jeanette Hansen with 20 DKK. Read us another story about the Masaoki's Claw Lord. Well, I think we got th three out of four ain't bad, plus his blog and everything. We've 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 learned mo most of what we need to know about about our boy Maceo. And uh, twenty bucks from the rookie. As a FedEx ground driver, or I use your content to make my day. Th uh, I use your content to make my day. Thank you so much, and have a good night, bud. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, I'm glad to hear that I can. Uh, I can elevate your 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 humdrum job uh that's very nice to hear and um yeah that's gonna do it for the stream everybody um let's see taking a look taking a look at the chat here i thought he was just a hoarder but no it's worse yeah uh a bit worse this is why we don't watch anime kids i thought we'd be in for gross cooking not whatever this was well we were at the beginning it's just, it also turns out that our man is a well-rounded human with a lot of interesting things to talk about. Um, 
That's not weird. That's just like my animes. Didn't need to know. Thank you, Deadwing. That was the best. Oh, thank you. Uh, not that weird. Well, I would say it's that weird. I would say if it was like a normal person who just like had a job and like a normal life and didn't live in squalor and wasn't so questionable in general and if they had this this like fantasy in their head and it's just like in their head and they want to like fuck their sister or whatever that's a little bit weird sure but i mean i can't judge you that hard if it's just a thing in your head and you've got you've you've moved on with your life but the reason why it's questionable with this guy is that it it's he he already seemed like the type of guy that you could make a joke about like having people in his basement and now apparently he's like got some other stuff going on and yeah i don't know uh that's that's uh it's quite something uh jeez neocon is a hell of a drug yeah what's weird is he was like anti-democrat in one story and then he was like anti-republican in the next i i don't get it um this is what maseo actually thinks i guess listen i have autism and this looks like it was made by someone who has slowly gone insane that's the thing is like it reads like i want to believe that it's just a because there's some parts where it's sort of coherent and it, it kind of even makes me smile a little bit like there was this one part where he was in the in the last story where he was like i guess she could be my my girlfriend if she ever runs out of hamsters that was a little bit funny <laughs> that was mildly funny but it, it all reads like some shit that he had in his head and it maybe like talked to himself a bunch about for like years and then just put down in in text and that's why multiple stories feature government agent family members and, like, fucking his sister and shit. Cut my life into pieces. It's better than Communist Waifu's YouTube channel. Oh, is that a thing? Did this just turn into gore porn? Um, it's not autistic rambling. I'm autistic and I don't ramble like this. Nor does anyone in my autism support group. I think he's got extra crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's autism. Um, I mean, I guess it could be. But no, I, I feel like it's... I feel like it's uh, more than that, certainly. Um, I'm not a pedo. It was the government and those damn Democrats. Well, he was only like a, a suspicious pedo man in the, in, the, in the first one. Well, not really even. He said the sister was younger than him, and he kept going off about how he loves the young girls. But, I mean, they could have just been 19, I guess. In the last story, the sister was th uh, 19, and he was like, I guess, a year younger than the sister. So, I mean, still not great, but... I, I don't know i don't know if he's a if he's a pedo but he's a bit of a weirdo um you know uh why is every story the same i don't know i really don't know because that's the mark of somebody who's crazy is that all of their writing starts to bleed into it into itself and it's like all just this hodgepodge of weird bullshit um similar weird bullshit though um I will bet you five hundred dollars he's an ANCAP. Well, you know, I I I wouldn't want to violate the NAP. It reminds me of Terry A. Davis with the whole everyone is government agents thing. Do not slander the Saint Terry Davis. I mean, I don't think that's really slander. I, he he's right. That is something that Terry Davis thought, uh, and uh, it's unfortunate, you know, this uh, sort of thing. Jeffrey Epstein killed himself over this. <laughs> like this vid if you aren't a sister fucker hey like it if you are a sister fucker i'm not I, i'm not discriminating he could be the person in someone else's basement i mean he could be that could be a great plot twist he hated republicans first and democrats later uh he's a jack of all trades um he probably does my dude he probably does Happy holidays. Drink water. Hope to see you all again in the next one. Uh, yeah, I think that'll about do it. Um, oh, thanks, Zara's spamming the, the Patreon in the chat. If you guys want to support the future, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to send me money to pay for the party cheese salad that I'm going to be making, <laughs> the patreon is in the chat but please do not feel obligated um yeah that, that'll do it for the stream thank you guys ever so much once again and um enjoy the uh outro music i guess hang on yeah this works <laughs> Take care,
Love you. Love you. Penis. Oh, and two bucks from You Still Won't Hear, uh, who just says, wait a minute. All right, wait a minute. I agree. Thank you, sir. Take care.